I'm still waiting for one to sign, so there's three that have to sign. Are they still playing? I don't know. They just haven't turned up, so... I don't know. They weren't playing or anything, do you know what I mean? We had the three that we knew were out there and three just haven't turned up. So, and then, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so there you go. You're on. You're yeah. on. Okay. You're on. Way we go. We've yeah, we're sorted right. out our, our problems. Evening, everybody. Another exciting night here at Scully Park. We've got uh, myself, Mitch Needle. Uh, Mick, yeah. Brent Hartley. Brent Hartley <laughs> I didn't know we were doing self promotion there. Sorry, Mick. <laughs> I thought you were taking the lead, the lead voice there. Self promotion, <laughs> self introduction. Yeah. <laughs> and the Scott master Bone. Himself, Scott Bone, Mr. Wikipedia, and he loves that name. Yeah, he is. That's he's uh, he's uh, walking uh, knowledge. W book of knowledge. We, mm. we control the replay button tonight. Yeah. Um, we, we hit a button when they score a try, and it goes back 10 seconds, and we yeah. can play when we want. So The power is in our hands. You know, if I'm watching you fiddling with your fingers, we'll just make sure you're on that button. Yeah, on that one. Okay. Not on the phone. All right, let's. Um, we'll just get. We'll just shout out a quick out to the sponsors. Um, now, obviously, Carey's Freight Lines yet to lose a game. Um, Mario Street Dental, um, JT Fossey, and Shea Brennan Constructions. They're the four sponsors of the sides. We've got Fold Mac TV. Please get on there and uh, so subscribe to uh, Matt Foley on YouTube. Uh, on, on YouTube yeah. on Fold Mac TV does a, a fantastic job. Uh, the only down part of their um, their professional crew is the uh, the three wise monkeys in here. That's right. right. And then you've got uh, the West Entertainment Group who are, who are sponsoring the Nines, Civilcon, uh, who are our COVID-19 marshals, and then Country Pavers, which do all the water bottles for the boys, so they all get their own. Um, quickly, Bones, um, last night we, it was the first trial for the under-18s Greater Northern Tigers squad. Um, good numbers, good turnout. Yeah, it was, mate. We had, uh, I think in the end there's probably about 85 nominated uh, okay. for the trial. Uh, there's probably about 78 there. So a couple yep. of kids obviously late, a couple of no-shows. Is as, similar as happened. numbers to last year? Yeah, mate, pretty yeah. similar to, to what we had. So um, something a little different. Usually we just do it always on a um, uh, one day. Um, uh, last year we went to a Saturday, Sunday, and this year we tried a Friday night. So, yep. uh, mate, yeah, good numbers that turned up and, and showed up. So, um, yeah, it was good to see. Obviously, uh, when you consider... Um, you know, throughout the three groups, obviously for that age group, yep. um, we're talking kids that are 16 this year and 17. So, yep. uh, for a lot of the 17 year olds, mate, a lot of them didn't play rugby league this year because um, due to COVID. So, uh, as I said, mate, good numbers and uh, yeah, it was a good rollout. And yeah. uh, there'll be a bit of um, work for uh, the coach and the, the pathways manager to come up with a squad. Can we yeah. mention the coaches? I was just going to yeah. say, have we got the coaching team yeah. announced? Or? <laughs> Is that all official? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, Daryl Rando from Scone will, uh, uh, will coach the 18s this year. So, he'll be assisted by Jake Hawkins, who uh, obviously a local boy from this area, from Manila yeah. originally, but um, uh, now living in Singleton and yeah. was going to captain coach Singleton first grade this year. But obviously, they didn't didn't play any footy, but um, signed on again to play, uh, captain coaching yeah. in Singo next year. And uh, Ethan Sherlock from here will be uh, nice. the, the third assistant there. And, so. and Rando's coached our senior side for many, many years. Cause yeah. I remember playing under one year where we got beat at Dubbo. Um, yours truly had the world's worst game and got hooked, I think, before half time. I never got another look at the paddock. So. Uh, Game over. Uh, I, think yeah. they, I think they probably felt, found out that I was out of my depth at that point yeah. and pulled me. Happens to the best of us, mate. <laughs> Obviously, mate, uh, yeah, Daryl, look, Daryl's coached uh, at a lot of levels. Um, Very coach, successful bush coach. Yeah, exactly, mate. Look, uh, he had a period there in the 80s, 90s, um, where, mate, he coached uh, six premierships in a row, basically. So uh, there was four four at Scone and two down at, uh, down at Leeton, uh, and then came back, got beaten in a grand final, and then won another grand final with Scone the year after. The type thing, so um, there was rumours that he yeah. just went to a comp and bought all the best players and took them to him, but that's just a rumour. So, um, yeah, yeah but as you said yeah. as well, mate, coached our um, coached our seniors uh, for a few years, yeah. um, coached them last. I think it might have been. 16, um, 16 or so, it would have made 16 actually, I think 2016 we made the final of the, the tier 2 that year, got beaten by River Arena out at Mungie, so um, yeah mate look he's uh, he's put his hand up and wants to get back involved and uh, and uh, and look at coaching uh, at that under 18s level, so it's uh, it's good that he's put that and obviously Jake's very, uh, very excited and he was keen. excited last oh. night. He, yeah. he, he was like he was a 10-year-old kid. Right Drove him around, man. Bit of a sponge. Bit of a sponge. Drove in right. the gate, went straight to Rolls, ran straight back to me. Where's my shirt? Where's my shirt? So <laughs> we might see him again after that. <laughs> no, he so. now, he how gave you your size. How that selection process works is that um, the kids actually nominate to come to that. They're, um, it's not, um, well, it's invited, but they 
it goes out into the, the wide world web and different places and emails are sent out to all registered players of that age? Yeah, exactly, mate. So we always uh, we'll email all the players from uh, that, are, that are eligible from that age. Obviously, this year with COVID, um, we also sent it to players that were registered in 2019 so that yeah. um, we, we tried not to miss anyone if possible. Um, and then, mate, yeah, obviously they, they nominate what positions they want to play. We try and put them into uh, teams that are fairly even, uh, which has usually worked fairly well for us. And then we... Um, uh, mate, we video all the games, so um, that's all uploaded there now. So the coaches will now um, uh, go and view those, and we'll look at naming a squad uh, Monday week. I think yeah. they're, they're looking at. Yeah. And the reason that I got you to explain how that system worked was so the people out there realise that you, know, you guys, as the coaches and the selectors and so forth, don't go and cherry pick the kids. So yeah. to speak. they're the kids that generally want to be there and want to be part of the Greater Northern Tigers uh, and, and go further on as. Where in previous years you pick a group side from your competitions yeah. and then your divisional side, so it's yeah. a little bit different. Yeah. These are the kids, that, and look, some of them. We had one kid I won't mention his name last night. He didn't want to make the rep side. He just wanted to play. Just want to play footy. Just want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to play footy. Like yeah, and look, it's you know, it's, it's an interesting one, mate, because we get a few at times that say, you know, why don't you just have you know, selected players come and trial and things like that. So we, we leave it open. Um, the reason we leave it open is it gives everyone an opportunity, mate. Yeah. So um, there's yeah. players out there sometimes that don't have, have the opportunity. There might be some kids yeah. that have played a bit of rugby league and have drifted away and then they, they come back and trial and then they come back into the game. Well, so um, it's just, the, it's an opportunity, as we always use, we use the word opportunity yeah. a fair bit through the yeah. program, is um, it's an opportunity for them. They, they've got to put their best foot forward and um, if they're then selected, well, it's, you know, they, they, they get another opportunity and they've just got to work hard to then try and make the final squad. I know, I know the you know, 17 and 18 year old kids and you probably you know, be expecting or assuming yeah. that they all want to play rep footy but they don't. No. So no. sometimes a kid might be picked in the rep side and doesn't necessarily want to be there so he plays anyway because you've got people with this tells you that they want to be yeah. there. You know? so yeah, exactly. That's, much that's so. pleasing. Yeah. Now, you are at Armidale today, the netball. Yeah, uh, while well, we're here for we'll, rugby we'll touch, league. We'll touch not lightly on the netball, but Lots, lightly. Um, just touch it because that's, that's your yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We, might, we might talk a little bit about the NIAS league program that's running at the moment too. Yeah, no, the rugby league program, it's obviously um, with support from you guys, you guys around me here right now. We wouldn't be able to run a program with uh, obviously support from New South Wales Rugby League. Um, we run under 15s and we underpin obviously the under 16s Greater Northern Tigers League. So this year we were initially going to have our trials in March. We were pretty close from running them. We were very, very close <laughs> from giving them a crack. While we knew COVID, it was about 500, I think was the limit on most things. So. We nearly pulled the trigger, but uh, we decided it was obviously a safer option for so everyone to not. From, from you, you guys, you're filling a void that the Greater Northern guys don't fill out like the 15s, because we look at this as a stepping stone to the 16s next year. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, um, as I said, 15, so it's one year under, and it gives uh, not only them an opportunity to another year to develop themselves through the having access to key coaches. Uh, Peter Stevens, obviously one of the uh, one of the better coaches here in the region. Um, on and off the field, and so it gives um, them an opportunity to develop as an athlete, uh, and gives them another look to see them. Like coming Bones, in. Bones was not laughing when he said a mentor off the field. <laughs> yeah, I know. But not sure what you mean there. I'm so just, th I'm just hearing some sort of remembering, some, <laughs> hearing some phone calls from um, young Trent on the field from um, the first time we had an under 15s program. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said he said, "I love the bloke." <laughs> Is this the, the in tears. Year in tears. Is this the second year it's running? No, nah, this is. Uh, no, this would be the fourth. Fourth. fourth yeah, year? yeah. So, so, um, so Twenty Taylor, what's he nineteen this yeah. year? So the, the, his, his was the yeah. first crew, and we brought it back. So yeah. nice. Obviously, ran a program uh, many, many about, years yeah, ago. About uh, 10, 11 years ago. And then um, it sort of fell away because obviously Country Rugby League at the time sort of took over development of kids yeah. in and around that age. Um, so then um, it was when Jace Lincoln was was yeah. uh, in as the CEO. CEO's role. And yep. uh, he uh, he sort of spoke to us. We obviously uh, work in the same office, uh, the New South Wales boys, and um, yeah, and the NRL development offices. We all work in the same office with Nice. And yeah, I was going to ask that question with you. You guys all working in the one office. Was the, the plan hatched from there? Like, or was this always going to be an IS? a nice uh, initiative so to speak or did it sort of come together because you yeah look yeah. I think because we were yeah. in the office and uh, as I said Jace wanted to uh, to push back and look at um, um, yeah nice running programs yeah. at at, uh, at major levels I suppose if you want to put that so sort of put back to us and said do we want to um, uh, we want to run a program we said yeah mate we're happy to jump on board and, and get that done so uh, as you said yeah I think it was mm -hmm. so 20 yeah 20 20's 19 that, so yeah. that's that age group that was the first year first. we um, we got back into it and uh, we've we've run it every year since. 
Yeah, it's a, uh, well, as I said before, we weren't able to start the program. It, uh, we were able to, with COVID, have a little bit of time to look outside the square. And typically we ran it with uh, Group 19 and Group 4. Um, it's obviously a little bit of an extended program where, but uh, we obviously a did, shortened did version. Did you feel there was a void there to, to bring this program in? Knowing, knowing that there's a 16s program already been running the region, did you feel there was a void in the 14, uh, well, 15 program? At the end of the day, nice. We always look at ourselves as a value add. We never want to work against. <laughs> we want to work with, obviously, and that's uh, across all sports, that value sound, add to the experience. Like you, you've read it off your, your, like your pre-script. Yeah. Like motions oh, I've listened to um, the Silver Tongue, James Cooper. Off the yeah. 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 Off the field. Yeah. yeah. Mentors. You don't have you to know. sell it to us. You're not no, 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 no. <laughs> From the you know, development point of view of the players, I think it's great yeah. because we're getting more professional uh, and we're finding, again, I thought I might, I think I might have touched on it in a previous um, episode on here yeah. that we've now got, I was involved with the country under 18 side so for seven years and we've now got nine of those players gone on and made NRL careers. So, for me, our, our programs are slowly yeah. working. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of players still don't go through the academies, but that tells me that the academy program, maybe not as quick as guys like Bones and I would like, but the programs are yeah. working towards it. Yeah, yeah. So and Mick, I think sometimes too, we we look at the end product, which is, in that sense, is everyone wants to get to the NRL. Not everyone can get to the NRL. Um, so it's a bit like the academy programs that we've run, mate. And it's, it's something that I know I, I you know, I rather see is that, as I said, we, we know those talented players will get there, but the other players is is that they're still playing rugby league. Yeah. Um, and if we go through, I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was the 2019 year or the 2018 year, um, the three grand finals in the group between Group 4, Group 19 and Group 21, um, there was nearly 70% of the players had come through a program in the region. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what that tells us is, is that, you know, what we're doing is they're staying and wanting want to play rugby league, which is, you know, just as important as those kids that can um, make it to Sydney and play there. So. Yeah. We got, well, that must be the eye camera. That's the eye camera. The, the eye camera. camera. Yeah. We've got Come Jeff in. Dunn. Come over here, Dunny. Look, look. <laughs> Get Dunny on. Get the eye camera on, Dunny. Yeah. Um, for, for me personally... It's the eye candy camera, Dunny. I know. <laughs> Get us with it. From, oh, you take the top off. And it's been around there, you go. It's, yeah. it's, um, for, for me, it's, you know, again, like I like to see the kids kick onto the NRL. Personally, if kids get developed at a younger age to a point and then come through into our first grade competitions, it's only got to be better for our first grade competitions. Yeah. So, again, the end product, sweet. Again, the end product locally for, for spectators, for players, for sponsors. If our end product there is better, well, it's better for everyone. Yeah, exactly. I think, mate, we had one of the years there, mate, through this region, you had, uh, I think Spitter was coaching, uh, Sean Russ, um, it was of the six first grade sides, there was three of the guys that come through programs, yeah. you know, through the region as well. Yeah. So, um, as I say, that's to me is is the bigger part of it. Um, is um, is the kids, you know, coming through the program, they don't get disheartened, and even those that that don't make programs, that yeah. they still want to play rugby league, yeah. mate. So that's the that's the main goal yeah. of it. It's, and as I said, we you know what we've been doing with Nice, we, we targeted obviously that 15 year old age group that we can give those kids a little bit of development working into the under 16s if they if they progress through there. Um, there's a lot of kids that don't progress through there, yeah. but again, they've then had an opportunity to get some development. But so. again, the NIAS yeah. program, it's, um, is it invite only or is it they nominate? No, it's yeah. nomination. Yeah, nomination. Yeah, so same so it's the exact same yeah. process. So I know talking with some of the kids already just in that program, some of them just want to come and be better footballers. Yeah, yeah. yeah and there's that's not, not all of them want to go further on. Yeah, look, and, and, and look, in, in, not jumping in, but we, yeah. we used to basically just have the four and 19 kids and only had 22 kids, but obviously due to COVID, we just opened it up to anyone that wanted to come and as you said Mick there's probably you know we had both of the, the full sessions with everyone together we had over 50 kids at both of those there was about 70 or nearly 80 nearly that nominated, 80 that nominated. Um, so you know if you look at that there's 80 kids that have had some extra development um, that hopefully our game gets better yeah that, you know the, again as I said to them when the, when the program finished last, last week was is that um, you know if you don't come to trials it's not pushing you to come to the academy the 16 trials which will be next week for for greater northern mate what we want to see is next year when 2021 comes around and rugby league's being played that you're all there playing yeah, rugby yeah. league still so and it's look it's for their development what, again what's good about the 15s is 
they nominated, so yeah. they're yeah. there because they want to be Absolutely. there. Absolutely. You know, and no. look, mum and dad might have forced them in the end. Yeah, got that's right. Probably a little tough on the shoulder, but... But I think some kids need that. Yeah. Um, a little bit of tough love, but yeah. again, they haven't been forced by the group or the division. No. Yeah. Okay, you've been selected in the red side, you've got to play. So yeah, correct. That's, for me, that's a bonus that we've got 80 or 90 kids in the, the 15, 16, because I think there's 120 16s have nominated so far? No, there's about 70. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think the, yesterday, the day before, there was probably 75 odd, so yeah. I'd expect us to get another 10 or 12. We'll yeah. send another another email or go out tomorrow night yeah, to so uh, to get them to nominate. So The last ones will come in. Oh, mate, I've still had guys. I got to the Oval at 2.30 on Friday and two nominations came yeah. in. You know what yeah. I mean? So. So overall, <laughs> we're, we're going to have in the vicinity of 250 to 300 players having further development yeah. to their own personal game. Yeah. So in, yeah. in general, that's got to be good for the game. Absolutely. And it's, um, as you said with those fellas before, Spitter and that obviously yeah. coaching, and not only just giving back by playing, but giving back by coaching as well. Yeah. Um, and growing the sport is absolutely fantastic. All right. We've had a few little changes. Now we're about to get underway. We've got the Marius Street um, Dental taking on the... Uh, Carey's Freight Lines, who have yet to drop a game. Um, we, uh, the Marrier Street guy is a little bit short this week because Scotty Blanche is off on his Bucks party. Yeah. We've got Corey Dixon, the Narrabri referee, refereeing this one. And then off. Jimmy Brown. And uh, oh, James Brown out there too. Yeah. Cannot sing that. <laughs> Not sure who the Cannot tough judge is on, uh, on the far side. Oh, oh. Is that on? Did they miss a knock on? Where's the replay button? Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's me on the sideline, was it? Uh, <laughs> we're in control of the replays tonight, guys. So um, I only want to see you pushing one button, Trent. But then we've got Jacob, Jacob Nichols, Nichols <laughs> poking his nose through. You take this set, Bone, so we no, don't no, talk mate. over the Brenton top in a dummy half there, obviously. Jumps out like he's been doing. Oh, bit of a drop pass there. Brady Jarrett picks that one up. Little opportunity there for Brenton, but uh, pass went to ground. Mitchie Denning. Little stinger, Tranny Taylor got a bit of a, uh, a thigh injury. Picked there up from playing tip during the week. <laughs> <laughs> was that from playing Oztag, was it? Oztag, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's what we heard about in the <laughs> office. <laughs> Here's Brady Jarrett here on the attack. Oh, oh. what's he going to call here? I'd say he'll call a knock on, will he? Call yeah, James on. Brown calls the knock on. We're going to try our replay button. And then we'll, go, we'll go back and we'll see what's a knock on. Okay, I tried it and it didn't work. There oh, you yeah, go, look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah it did. Oh, oh yeah, loose carry. How good yeah. is this replay button? We're oh, all over oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> How good is this? We've got Jockey Small having another hit up. That's his second or third one already for uh, for the young fella. Brent's obviously going to play himself at nine again. Found it interesting when we interviewed Brent a couple of weeks ago. Here we've got a bit of room out there for Isaiah Adams. Adams. Uh, Braden Reed. Braden Reed. Oh, good friend. Oh. And oh, another. And armed off Trenty Taylor. Three. Show ab. No, no, no. no he's Good brought him tackle. down. Young Swaney. Oh. Trent Taylor won't be happy that he got shoved off by uh, Braden Reed there. Yeah, he'll have a friend Good in rivalry. there. Good mates in the uh, Great Northern side. Isaiah comes wide to Sammy Taylor out to oh, Brent Cochran. They've good got some room here. They should score. Jacob Nichols. With Jacob Nichols. Oh, oh. I don't know if he's got, he's got held up. Held up. Oh, oh. Great tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Who was that? 15. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get it. Deacon Sankey. Great work from Deacon Sankey. Here we go, look at this. We've got the replay up. Oh, knock on there from uh, Liam Hatch. There's a great tackle. It was Deacon That's Sankey. That's outstanding. Yeah, it's a tackle. tremendous effort there. Three on one. Right, um, opportunity missed. We've got uh, Braden Gerard jumped into dummy half there. And then, uh, young Ryan Ingram. Another young fella that's come through the academy programs. Uh, Mitch Denning's getting plenty of work early, Mitch. Proving a bit of a handful at the moment. Quick play of the ball, one marker. Trent Taylor's seen something down the short Good side. Brady Jarrett. Yeah. He, uh, Good tackle there from Nathaniel Slater. I was talking to Brady, Brady through the week. Oh, that's Ooh, a ball that's a a play. Oh, oh sir. Yeah. I think. Bit of a sloppy play of the ball there. That's how it went with the penalty. Come yeah. on, it's an, I, was, you know, so I was talking to Brent through the week, and he, he's... He's not upset that he gets called an old man because he's only 28, <laughs> but he yeah. understands, I guess, when you're, you're going ball at the front and the back, you probably... <laughs> and he said there's nothing that we can say in the commentary box that he hasn't heard at school. Yeah. So, but he did say that doesn't mean yeah. it's open slather. PE teacher. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean that it's okay. P.E. Okay, Riley Taylor, a bit of roomy. Riley's got that big left foot step. But, uh, I don't think Brent's subbed 
yet in the carnival, has he? No, I'm not sure, mate. Uh, oh, good play from Brent. Yeah. They should have scored again. Is that... Uh, uh, to Lockie Trindle. Oh, I nearly held up again. Oh, he's called it again. Yeah. Corey Dixon. <laughs> nice and early. Breton's not happy, but Corey's... He's pulled Corey, him up. Corey called I that think, one. Uh, yeah. here. Looks like the ball found the turf. Yeah, oh, that's a try. Yeah. That's a try yeah. there. Touch judge. Probably that's needed right. a... Lucky one there. Sammy Taylor. Nice nice to Isaiah Adam, good pace. Had to Braden, good try. Yeah, deservingly a try there. They, they had to get over, they've had three three cracks. Yeah. Um, on the try in this corner, I'm not sure why uh, why Corey didn't ask his touch judge. Yeah. Because he called it very quickly, he but did. anyway. He didn't want to think about it. But, uh, Jack Rumsby. It's good footy, that. Yeah, yeah. good. Simplest move in the, what's the simplest move in the, in the playbook, Scott? <laughs> Hands, mate. Hands. Draw and pass. Draw, Draw and pass. pass. And that's pretty much what that was. Well, Sammy Taylor, he skipped out there a little bit and uh, just got him got himself on the outside of his defender and then uh, gave Isaiah Adams that uh, that little bit of extra speed there. So, And obviously, uh, Braden Reid finished yeah. it off. So. Yeah. Isaiah got on the outside there of Jack Runs. Yeah. Like so, yeah. well, we've got a little break in the play. We'll just have a quick call out. Shea Brennan Constructions, Kerry Freight Lines, Marriott Street Family Dental, JT Fossey, Folmac TV, West Entertainment Group, Civil Con and Country Pavers. Uh, without all those guys, we, uh, we actually don't have Simply any football wouldn't be here. Played, so. Uh, so, thank you all. Yes. Um, now, later in the show, guys, we are going to try and get Braden Reed, KB Bone and Dan Kelly. I don't think Dan Kelly's here tonight, but we're going to try and get them and, and have a chat to have them chat. about their... Uh, their trial trials the last weekend and we last are week. we are going to do something that we we may regret later um because nobody likes referees but we're going to get james brown oh Ooh. opportunity missed there yeah. um we are going to get ryan schmiedel and james brown so we're going to get the young and the old from the referees and just get get their thought on the night yeah. is he going to give us a song Brownie, well, we'll see. We, yeah. See, he's got the mic, so well, give him an opportunity. <laughs> opportunity is the word that's getting thrown around. So I don't know if he. The, can, uh, I'm not sure if he can sing, but he, he can play a musical instrument. He, can, <laughs> he blows his own trumpet pretty well. So the uh, the right. standing captains come on. Matty Wilson started himself off the bench. Nice yeah, play nice back in a trendy trailer. Yeah, yeah, good nice try. try you got to get on this repart. And no, you're all over it. You've got two: the red and the white one. Here we go, Matty Wilson. We talked about Matty Wilson last week playing dummy half and really got um, the Maria Street yeah. guys going forward. And I think Matty at dummy half at the nine was probably a big reason that uh, they got the two wins. Yeah. Now during the week I text Craig Powder to tell me to come up with his nines top, like his side yeah. from what he's seen so far. Um, I knew you missed round one, so you couldn't do it. But you might like trying to. You want to write down your nines, team? Oh, I'm just getting the right names to numbers down, but I'll work on mine. All right. Well, I this, haven't this, got is, it. this is the nine side. If I was picking a nines team at the moment, uh, let me just yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd have just a straight this, nine. Just a straight nine. I'd have Brent Cochran, Trent Taylor, Scotty Blanche, Sammy Taylor, Maddie Baker, Cody Tickle, Thomas Brown, Dylan Lake. And young um, Shoab Rhodes Swain. They'd be my nine players that I'd take away on a carnival. <laughs> a couple of big men to, yeah, to do some a, damage through the middle. And I see uh, quite the spread there from forwards to backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta have, I think you've got to have need, a couple. Of, you need the balance. I think you've got to have a couple in the middle. Just yeah. now. And you've got Cody Tickle that can do a bits, of, bits and pieces of everything. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Sammy Taylor. Sammy Taylor taking the, the ball to the line a little bit today. Brenton here. Oh, oh, dropped oh. it. Oh, what are we going to call here? Knock on, it. double knock on. I think, I think I think it's from my point of view pretty obvious that you know you, it's a game that's do orientated or dominated, I should say, by your by your dummy half. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming Matty Wilson's poking those. Yeah, you know. I think Brent Brent's obviously proved that um, from the get go. Put yeah, himself in there at nine, and it's great to see Kieran Williams involved. Yeah, in yeah and he's playing sort of more in the middle there today. Yeah. So good footy. Well, Out to show up. Show up. Seen Scotty Swain in the grandstand. Well, uh, he's sitting just. I was had a good chat to him. Looking fit. He was actually talking about captain coaching this year. The uh, Rattle Tigers. The Rattle Tigers. Here we go. Yeah, right right up, a bit good of good footy. Oh, oh, Lockie yeah. McGrady there. They've um, bombed a couple of chances. I don't know. I don't know if, I'll, if I yell out the Swainy, we might bust some ears. But <laughs> he uh, he's looking fit, and he was talking about having a run with his young fella and doing some coaching and playing himself at number nine. Number, number nine. nine. He just controlled. Oh, good yeah, ball there from, from Riley Taylor. Okay. 
Mike, Mike Mackay. Brenton Goodfooty. Isaiah Adams. Oh, a nice step back inside. Oh, oh and again. Lovely. Is he going to get under? Yeah, Good work no, there no from Roto. You want to control the white button? Yeah, look like the power is in your hand. You're enjoying it. Right before the end of the half, that's a... So again, look at there. Nice dummy from Isaiah. And then another dummy. And, and there you hear the siren going in the background. So that'll uh, give Carey's freight line the lead at half time. Could be 10-6 or 8-6. Brent's taking the shot at goal. And we're on the camera. Ooh. Oh, missed that, that one. Was that was a shot. Oh, no, he's Is that best. the shot of goal that came over this one? Yeah. I'm not quite sure if it touched yeah. it. Okay. It was a drop kick or not. It was, um, <laughs> yeah. Let's get a replay of that one. <laughs> so we, we, we should be able to. Let's, let's try the replay. Well, I might have been. Oh, there we go. No, we were too, no, that's too, too, too slow. Too slow. Just lot in the plane, though. A bit too slow. Life story. Okay, so we've got a 8-6 uh, lead at half time. Probably unexpected with what Mario Street have got missing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Carries are still playing. I think everybody's sort of caught up on the idea of the nines. Yeah. Um, again, you know, we touched on it a couple of times about how much the number nine controls the game. Yeah. Matty Wilson's proved there already. You know. Yeah. He was phenomenal last week for them in the only half role, and he set up their first try there. Yeah. yeah. Probably a big benefit that James Cooper's away for Mary Street this week. <laughs> you so. took the words out of my mouth, Scotty. Yeah. You would have seen that short ball he tried to throw last. They're week. improving. So. Just, got, just got to be careful when you say things out of your mouth and James Cooper because remember you worked together I know <laughs> not very often you get an opportunity like this to uh, talk about him about his, about his own sport Group 4's most rov lovable rugby league player well, they're probably um, they're probably on their buck show around a little telephone yeah. right now watching he said yeah. there was uh, it was pretty tough for a few of the boys to get some leave passes for the weekend but uh, I won't say names but anyway <laughs> good luck to them is yeah. what I say good to see the boys together it's been few and far days in between I'm sure yeah. So, and, and good luck to Blancy. His, his wedding's coming up in a few weeks. Yeah. And um, you know, celebrating and marrying, marrying into the, the Wollaston family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Millie's a lovely young lady. Absolutely. Yeah. Great family, the Wollaston family. Yeah, they are, mate. Yeah, uh, so. Everybody in Group 4 and, dare say, Rugby League in general in the bush would, would know the Wollastons yeah. one way or another. And yeah, so um, I think, unfortunately, your brother, Sammy, won't be able to get up. He's in, living down in Victoria. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so I think uh, they said he might not be able to make the wedding, which is unfortunate for them. But, um, yeah, so obviously uh, in the COVID regulations, they've had to change their their plans, I think, yes. a few times, yeah. of what, what's going on and what's not yeah. going on. But, um, yeah, they're still going ahead uh, 17th of November or yeah, somewhere there. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 we nice and warm. Yeah. It was like this. Uh, when when Cy comes back, we might send him to, to do some jobs and get some, uh, see if we can find uh, Kobe and, uh, and Liam. Yeah, I saw Borley and uh, Kobe wander past them in the game. So. I seen Borley at, uh, at the trials last night come down and have a watch. It was good to see some of the kids from last year's side come down and watch the kids come yeah, through. Yeah, yeah they were both um, there. I think that a few of the North uh, 18s boys had yeah. a bit of a presentation and picked some gears up there. But um, uh, Kobe, I think, had messaged Pete Stevens during the week and said that... Um, you know, do you want a hand and well, happy to come run, down? He ran water yeah. for the side I was looking yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, so um, he, uh, you know. And I was talking to Steve Steve Ball today. Um, he's really, really impressed with, with Liam's earring. He's <laughs> <laughs> got the touch. He said, he said, I don't know why he didn't do both. If he's going to be, you know, if he's going to be a girl, he might as well be a full girl. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't. I won't say that, Bolly. But no, he had a bit of, we had a bit of a giggle about it. He just shook his head. He said, oh, well. Nah. That's great that he's reached out to him roles during the week to see if he needs a hand. There's not many yeah. kids that do that. No, so. mate, as I said, most of the kids, uh, especially when trials comes around, they, they, I think half the time they just want to be out the field, field yeah. and play themselves. So. Trent, Trent Taylor was there. Yeah, Trent was there. there. Yeah. Young Spinksy. Yeah, yeah so a couple of the boys that will actually trial for the 16s next oh. week in uh, Charlie, Charlie, uh, Charlie Henderson, Henderson and uh, Logan Spinks yeah. and uh, they were there helping out as well. So, uh, Young Logan's uh, Michael's young fella? Yeah, yeah mix, so we mix got, um, an another Group four, famous name I suppose yeah. you could say. Come, yeah, coming through the ranks, he, he goes all right. What I've seen so far, young, he's he a does, lad. He's a big yeah. kid, like yeah. So yeah, um, Michael played country with one, uh, yeah. with one kidney. Yeah. Ooh. And then a great start for the uh, for the Kerry Street crew. Played in the uh, the eighty eight side that beat Northern Division. Ah, uh, sorry, beat Great Britain great here Britain. at Scully Park. And uh, Up correct, us. correct me, Mr. Wikipedia, if I'm wrong. He was he was stopped from playing rugby league because of the one kidney or missed country. No, he still he... played. He got picked for country. Um, yeah, not long after that, he was he had an opportunity to go to Penrith, I think. And um, not long after it, he uh, just a I think it was knees in the back, and yep. 
and then yeah lost a kidney and come back and played they moved to Port Macquarie played over with Port Sharks and um, got selected for country and I think went to the medical the old days to turn up the SCG for a medical and lifted his shirt and the doctor said what's that and he yeah. said I've only got one kidney he said go home so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a shame I don't, I don't think that those kind of things should be holding you back no so here we no. go Is that good footy not quite sure who that was we hit the button and Jamali Gerard. Jamali. It's a um, bit of a cheeky little kickoff there. That was, uh, gives them the right, ball back Riley from the start. Riley Taylor there on the replay. He's just a little. He's little some good dummy. footy from Riley there. Yeah. Dummy inside, dragged the defender on. Yeah. But Jamali still had a bit of work to do. Hit that that nice hard line we call it. Yeah. Um, still had. You know, you can't be scared if you're going to run those lines. And, uh, got over. Goal kicking. Twelve six. Twelve six. Um, unfortunately for carries, they haven't converted one. No. The score could be a lot more comfortable mm. than what it is. It's, Who um, took that one? Jamali. Okay. I'm yeah. just surprised Sammy Taylor hasn't been taken well, any of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I've said it before in, in many different forms. Sammy Taylor, for me, has got one of the best kicking games in bush yeah. footy. He was tremendous yeah. last week. He had it. In, in the short form, the long firm form. Mitzi Mitzi Danny, Danny. Great run. Good bump bar there. Straight into Sammy Taylor, ex teammate. Get out of my wing. So Ryan Ingram will control his right. We've got three yeah, pretty Pretty Garrett down the short side. Nice little ball to Jack Rumsby there. Mitchy Denny again. Good run. Oh, good offload. Well, numbers Overlap here. Up there. Yeah, good numbers. Deacon Sankey. Got a bit of pace, Deacon. He's got a lot of pace. He's yeah. going to come around. Oh, Barney come point. round. Good He's footy. Super try. Great work. Super try. He did show some good pace there, young Deacon. Um, here we go, it's all happening now. He's come back here. He just got on the outside, just had a, a bit, bit too slow on our replay button. But uh, saved a try and got one himself. It's a great effort. So this will put him in front. Yeah, if they get Swirfy the kick. kicks this, Lockie yeah. McGrady, left footer. Well. Mister from in missed front. In front. <laughs> missed it in front. Oh, that could. 12 11. You, you, can't, you can't miss that. You can't. I'm not going to say anything because I've probably never kicked any of them. But ah, it's easier to say from up. this side of the yes. side of the field. When you're old like us, you never did anything wrong when you played. You were the best. <laughs> but uh, in a tight game, you need to be putting them over. Mm, like that, yeah. that could give them that one. Nah, that I'm, I'm sure that's not going to be the last try we see, but it could be big deal date Bateman. Good run from Dill Bateman. Uh, 12. 12 metres off the kickoff, 11 metres, 10 metres, coming back. We've got Jacob Nichols. He might be finding himself with a new role at Narrabri this year. <laughs> Front row. Uh, Front row. Uh, he's had a lot of hit-ups. He might find himself in that number 13. Jump yeah. Brent, Brent, he's scooted he's Brenton again. Boy's a bit Whoa, lazy. Oh, Jackie Rumsby. He's, he's, uh, his team were a little bit lazy on the jump there with him. It was an opportunity maybe miss Sammy Taylor. Yeah. Numbers left here. Oh, yeah, all the kick. Wheel kick. If it lands and bounces right. Mm. Oh, oh yes. good pick up there from uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Slater. Slater, is it? Yeah. It was a, I thought it was a little bit advantageous kick by Sammy Taylor. Here we go, we've got the replay up. He threw the dummy, brought the winger in, and it did sit nicely for Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah. set up there. Yeah. Did, uh, did sit up nicely, and true to form, they probably won't kick this. But um, it's only a five point lead with uh, five, just a touch under five, five minutes, minutes to go, so. Still a very tight game. Good, good showing. I don't want to be disrespectful to Mario Street, but good showing considering the players that aren't here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you know, most notably Scotty Blanche not being out there. And, uh, no Dan Kelly. I'm not sure what Dan Kelly. Uh, Chero. Chero's Chero. away on Chero. the back as well. So. The Shadesco and, dare say, James Cooper. Here's Sammy. Sammy Taylor. He's connected there. And... Mm. Uh, not a bad little we, nudge yeah. there. We talked him up and he doesn't come up. Anymore. He should have been there kicking those ones in front. front yeah. So it's um, just just over four minutes. The clock's doing a bit of a funny thing over there at the moment. But just over four minutes to go. We've got 16 points to 11 to carry. So it's pretty much game on. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kieran yeah. Williams, again, high, uh, heavily involved this week, Bones. Yeah, he has been, mate. Lockie McGrady. Oh, good step from Lockie. Yeah. And again. Good tackle, Good tackle Liam. from Liam Hatch. Yeah. Nearly a crusher. Stinger. Oh, Ryan Ingram finding himself first off the first ruck. receiver. So Trenny Taylor one. here. Well wrapped up from Clay Frendon and uh, friend on friend. Uh, Jamali underneath. Maddie, a couple of dummies there. 
Didn't trick Clay with any of that. Nah. He was a good defence from Clay. Clay Still yeah, got some it. numbers to the right there if they play there. But I think they go short side. The old short side. Tranny, little kick. Oh, oh, oh everyone's oh. missed her. There's a bit of a... Oh, drop out. Drop out. What's he saying? He's grounded in goal. Yeah. We We've got the replay. Tranny Taylor, 10 metres out, goes the line. Nice little dab. Oh, jeez. Prado went over the top of it. Yeah. yeah. I think I think Marius might have missed on the try there, but one each, eh? We'll one each. One yeah. Each. It's only yeah. fitting. Corey, I don't know if Corey Dixon's looking at his touches too much tonight, but um, no, I don't know if a touch is going to The experienced Sammy Taylor taking a bit of time here with the dropout. He's got a cramp or needs straight. Just walk, taking his walk time. Walk to the kick. Oh, oh short, short one. one. Is it going to go to the 10? Go on 10. Oh, oh dear. Lockie lovely. McGrady there. Good catch by Lockie. on him. Committed to the ball. Oh, Stinger. Is he going early there, Brent? He was a little early, but he's Kieran. He's, um, I'm loving Kieran's involvement tonight. He's a very, very strong runner. wonder if Richard Ingram went through the hours and hours of tape like he did last week. He yeah, would have studied at Ringer. Good offload. Off Back to Lockie McGrady. Bit of trouble out here to the right if he can get there. Kieran's gone himself. He's going to go up. Oh! oh. Well, a great tackle by Brent Cochran under the post. Oh, Matty. Poor pass there. Good work from Deacon Sankey. We didn't have anybody else. Pass tackle here. Good Sorry. defense from Kerry Freight Lines. Yeah. Trying to move the penalty. No oh, Matty. Not played at. Haven't caught six to go. Still, Still alive. last. Oh, call. good tackle there oh, from Jacob oh. Nichols. Great tackle. Jacob's having a big game. Couple of yeah. men in the match. Opportunity uh, yeah. propositions. Jacob Nichols has been huge. He Kieran, has been. We Kieran Williams has been very strong. We might just get the ball back one more time here, Mary we'll Street. We've got a minute and a half to go. Oh, penalty. Now they won't. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, uh, Clay, Clay Frendon. Good run. Easy 30 metres and still goes. Good run from Clay. Well, he's, uh, he tapped it on the town and got to the 40, so it's uh, a good tack. Braden Reid. That's Ooh. twice now he's pushed Trenny Taylor off. That won't be... Uh, Trenny comes back at him. I think, uh, I think oh, Ringer. Oh, Ringer. Oh, the one-on-one. One-on-one. Oh. On one. The stinger. A minute oh, to go. Just cool. when the boys needed it. All those three kids played last year in the uh, oh. Great on Northern Tigers side together. Oh, he's, yeah. oh good defence there from Clay and uh, Braden Reid. Took... Uh, uh, Braden... Braden Durant had the right idea, but mm. he's probably a bit light yeah. to be going on the short side road. But brother on brother here today, too. Yes. Braden and Jamali up against each other. They, uh, Dill Bateman, good strong run. They haven't numbered up yet, interestingly. Brenton Cochran. Oh, good pass. Oh. Good tackle there from Jack Brumsby. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna, it looks like it's going to be a five point victory to the Kerry. Like. They haven't done it uh, as easily as they have in the past. So. Riley McCoy, good strong run again as well. And I think these are sitting one and two on the table. Aren't they, they are, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, bit of a mistake a there. Loose carry. there go. What have we got? On the time. Seven seconds. I don't know what that says right. up there. Yeah, right yeah. Gonna, right 20, again. 30, oh, who knows? 60. <laughs> Uh, full, no, full time. Full <laughs> time. <laughs> so, good game of footy. Um, I don't know if it's been decided yet how the semi finals are going to run. Um, so we, we won't sort of touch on that too much. But five point win. So Carey's go. What's that? Um, four, eight. Still so undefeated. That, Still undefeated. Five games without a loss. Yeah. Going That's but, um, we'll try and get some people up here for some interviews soon. I know uh, we'll send Cy down in a minute to see if we can find a couple of after they play. If Can you find um, Kobe Bone and Liam Ball after they play to come up? Um, so oh, they're going to back up. They're backing up, are they? Yeah. Well, they might struggle a bit up there. Yeah. We'll, have to go well, up. we'll get them at some stage. Come up with yeah, they can come up and might um, so I do want to go and see what Ryan and Brownie are doing they might come up and we can have a chat with them yeah thanks, well. thanks so um, so we'll just give a shout out to the sponsors Shea Brennan Constructions um, Carey's Freight Lines Marrier Street Family, Den Family Dental JT Fossey Folmat TV West Entertainment Group who are the sponsors of the Nines uh, Civil Con which are sponsoring our COVID-19 officers and Country Pavers, who are sponsoring the water bottles that all the players have. So 
next game tonight will be JT Fossey and uh, Shay Brennan's, who have yet to win a game. So uh, talking to Cody Tickle, he's, he was a little bit up, a little bit more upbeat. His ball there. Keep for the game. No earring, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the next window. No, no, the next one down again. Footballers, the smart. Um, yeah, I was talking to Cody Tiggle as he, as he was walking in, and uh, they're, they're hoping to get on the, on, on the board. Yeah. Uh, no, no, go past the next window. No, nah, we're not doing the score. We've got to go to the next, next one. Yeah, yeah. Next, next one. Times two. <laughs> Maybe we won't get Bolly up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll find somebody else. But, uh, no, we'll try and get the kids up and see how they experience the... Because, uh, again, Bones, we've got that association now, that, that um, marriage, let's call it, with uh, the, the Canterbury Bulldogs. Uh, they've got us and the North Coast Bulldogs. Yeah. So, great opportunity... Do you, do you think without that, that marriage that Borley and or young Liam Borley, who is the problem, Dan Kelly and, and Kobe Bone, get that opportunity to go for that trial? Mate, pro- no, possibly not, you know what I mean? So um, obviously with the, with the, they're our pathway um, Club. partners, um, the dogs. And um, so, yeah, so as you said, uh, Braden Reid and, and Dan Kelly, Liam Ball, Kobe Bone and um, Jackson Shade from down at Singleton yep. um, all went and trialled last week. Mark Simon actually went and had a run, but Mark's actually on a, a scholarship yeah, with the um, on, with um, uh, yeah. with the Bulldogs. So him and uh, he and Jack Todd actually have been named in the in the SG oh, in nice. the SG Ball Squad, yeah. the Jack Summer Todd Squad. Can play football, yeah, yeah, so obviously they're both. Um, Mark, while he's only 17 uh, this year, um, he's actually in Year 12, so he'll be doing. Him and Jack will both be. Yeah. Starting HSC in the next yeah. week or so. So after that, they'll venture down to Sydney and um, uh, spend the summer with the Bulldogs, and and, uh, and then hopefully um, can uh, can push into the yeah. into the full squad. Now, now um, not Mark Hughes. Um, who's the, the Hughes fellas that are all our games from the famous Hughes? Yeah, Mark Mark Hughes. Is it Mark Hughes? Yeah, Mark yeah. is at the Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure. Just, just making sure. Just making sure. Uh, from I guess the famous Hughes brothers. So, yes, yeah, because that was part of his speech every every <laughs> week um, from the famous Hughes brothers. Um, but do you think that trial come because he was at every game? Yeah. Uh, to his credit, um, and, and I think he's one of their talent scouts. Yeah. He was at every game. Did it? Do you think it come from him coming and seeing those the kids play on a regular basis? Yeah. Look, obviously, um, you know, part of that, and obviously, um, uh, Pod uh, Craig Wilson, who's their pathways and uh, one of their pathways and development managers, uh, he's obviously always at our, our sessions as well. So, uh, nearly all of our um, our full sessions that we had uh, last year, Pod was there, uh, and a lot of our sessions last year, we either also tried to incorporate um, our women's and 23s in it, and also um, he can go back and cover that up. Uh, <laughs> um, and um, women's and 23s, or we had uh, had our 15s pups for pups for Bulldogs program. So um, uh, he was always in attendance at those. So again, he knows he knows the boys fairly well and yeah. uh, and, and keeps in regular contact. So yeah, through, through the through those contacts and those pathways. And again, once we get back in, I think uh, I think Pot will be up next week for the the 16s trials. Well, he'll be he'll yeah, be in attendance. Pod. He is mate. Yeah, he's a funny man. He is mate. Yeah, he is uh, Craig. So uh, uh, interesting nickname. Pod, 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 yeah. Did, do you know how he got it? Yeah, so it um, stands for Prophet of Doom. Okay. So when he played at North Sydney, um, he was given it by someone there that all he used to do was win and carry on and complain. So uh, someone said, mate, you're a pod. And he said, what do you mean? You're a prophet of doom. So that stuck and it stuck with him for the rest of his life. Okay. So um, that's where he got it from. But he, Pod actually grew up in Arbidale. So um, oh, I didn't know that. His, uh, right, his other brother, Alan Wilson, who played yeah, for yeah. the Sharks and played State of Origin, um, Alan. Um, so their father, um, Graham, I think... Is his name? He uh, he played for Australia. Their father, okay. uh, but he had a pub. He had the pub in Armidale, so they actually did high school. I think year eight they left in in Armidale, then he moved to Sydney. So yeah, yeah. So mate, he's got a he's got a bit of a connection with the area. And he wonders why we call him Mr. Wikipedia. Mr. Wikipedia, there it is, there it is. the walking Wikipedia. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, ask him a question. Uh, we might take a short break. Um, leave you guys at home to to go to the toilet, get a cup of coffee, or a. 
uh, beverage. beverage, cool beverage on a hot day. Yeah. Yeah. It is hot today. It is steam, it is. Yeah. We'll come back just a couple of minutes before the start. Zachy Leonard is in the 15, is he? Yeah, Zachy Leonard's there. He's got a decent sized beard on him. He has. Yeah. He's had that a couple of weeks ago. So we'll give you a little bit of a break and then uh, hopefully we'll get um, a couple of the referees up and have a talk to them from the young and the old. Matty Jarrett, Brady Jarrett must have got me into the match in that game. I oh, know, he's... he's uh, He's got the got the work he's, going. He's got, he's got hey, the pose. He's, I see these marks getting a photo from shooting up, so he doesn't he see those. He likes that uh, lower angle. I've seen him at a few of the different codes <laughs> getting that lower angle. I think Trent was there the other week from the lower <laughs> angle as well. Okay, yeah, we'll have a little break and we'll see you probably five minutes before the start of this one. Thanks, guys.
JT Fossey, and as you've seen the MGs down at the park street end of the ground, we've got them now on Monday and Sea Land and we'll do a great deal for you. So JT Fossey, the Shade Brand Construction. If we could ask the kids if you can leave the party service, that would be greatly appreciated. This case will be underway very shortly. So we have all the kids off the field, and our second game this evening will be underway very soon. So still got plenty of time to go and get something to eat for the canteen at the Park Street end of the ground, on ice cold drink, from the bar at the Scully Park Pool end of the ground. Come kids, we're going to leave the field, we'll get the second game underway. Tonight, I think it's game number 10 for the carnival. We'll call yep. it. We'll go with that. Uh, JT Fossey taking on Shea Brennan Brilliant. Constructions. Um, unfortunately, Shea Brennan's haven't won a game yet. Uh, their coach, their captain, their fearless leader, Cody Tickles, Tickle. in the pinch. And we've got a full Parson affair on the bench this week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dave Parsons, probably, if not the best strapper in bush footy, very, very close to it. Trainer Strapper, Matty Parsons. Matty Parsons. Many Jack co coach. And young, I think it's young Charlie or Bryce. Which one are you going No, it does look a bit like Charlie. We'll go with Charlie. Charlie. He hasn't got those shorts that he had on last no, night on. So. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Probably shot. lucky with the TV camera. Yeah. Um, running the yellow shirt, even though we don't really have a yellow shirt for the Nines. But he was part yeah. of the party, so we're all good. Um, so the Shea Brennan side tonight will, uh, was Bryce Daniels, was number one. Number four is Dan Bowler. Number six was Dylan Porter. Number seven is Sammy Sadler. Number eight is Thomas Brown. Number nine is Jake Ty. Number ten is Matthew Baker. Number eleven is Nathan Douglas. Number twelve and captain coach Cody Tickle. Thirteen Jake McManus that won't be here tonight, I would imagine. No, no he's um, Thomas Wollaston who also won't be here. And Daniel Jobson's in fifteen. Dylan Lake in sixteen. Patrick Lyon Keynes in Ooh, seventeen. Shorter kick here. Yeah, Dylan Lake sixteen. He's first here kick this off week. The tee, I think. Oh, Cody Tickle straight, straight through. through. 
positive start. They'll be looking to get on the front foot from the get-go. So. In uh, the JT Fossey side, we have number one, Abel Carney, number two, Jimmy Pascoe, number three, Aaron Donnelly, number four, Nathan Vasey, number five, Corey Hall, number six, Harley Milgate, number seven, and Captain Mitch Doring, number eight, Zachy Hatch, number nine, Matt Gillum, number ten, Dwight Milgate, number 11, Kirby Bone, number 12, Jesse Glass, number... Uh, 14 Liam Ball and number f sorry 15 Zachy Leonard with the big red beard. So we've got a fast-paced game to start with, guys. Mm. Nearly an opportunity there for the uh, Shea Brennan side early with Cody Tickle poking his nose through, but couldn't. Uh, I guess they're not used to making breaks, and nobody was running in support. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Nathan Vasey here for the JT Fossey sign taking it forward. That's its second tackle. He's, uh, Nathan Vase has been a bit of a fine for me. Yeah. He played with Manila this year in the, in the um, in, well, the, sorry, last year. Um, had He's some been good. Last tackle here. Matty Gillum, little chip. What will the bounce be? Oh, oh straight oh, to me, Storing. Straight to Doring. We're in trouble. Storing away. Zachy Leonard. How to Zachy Leonard. Oh, Chopped good tackle. Him. Great tackle down low there yeah. by... Uh, Dill Porter, is it? Dill Porter, is yes. Sorry. Dylan Porter. Dill Porter, good tackle. Dill Lake. Dill Lake. I did name Matty Baker. Oh. Oh, I can't see Matty Baker there. No, I can't see Matty there. Uh. Dan Barlin's come off. Looks like, uh, Looks like he's got he something wrong with his finger blood. there. Little finger. No, no. It's obviously... Is uh, it a finger or his shoulder? Got a bindi uh, in it. I think he's... Here he goes. Sammy, Sammy Sadler. Sadler. Good ball. Out Mark, to Marcus Hayne. Hayne, show a bit of pain. Oh! oh. I think, uh, oh, I think if that know. gets over his head, that they score for all money because yeah. uh, Zach Leonard, be our next country winger, um, has changed a little bit of body shape. We had uh, Zachy Turnbull and Marky Hayne probably would have footed him. So it's going to be uh, Shay Brennan's. They've had the best part of the footy so far. Yeah. They they have. Have, uh, JT have the back here to um, Zachy Turnbull. Good tackle from uh, club mate Aaron Donnelly yeah. over there. Yeah, just the young, letting the old know. The Thomas old Brown. There Good charge. He's oh, in my nine side, right. that boy. He's in there. You need the couple. Still Lake in the dummy half again. Out to Cody. Out the back, codes. Oh, I thought he missed. He didn't really look there at uh, Sammy Sandler. Nathan Vasey, good tackle there. again. Dill Lake, little chip. If he gets the bounce. Aaron Donnelly cleans it up. And gets, no, he doesn't get out. Nice play from Dill Lake. Yeah. We'll get the replay on that. Good to see the uh, he's had a little he's bit of an influence in nine there, Dylan Lake. We go, gets out the dummy half, about 12 metres out, chips. Did you catch that on the full? Yeah, 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 I, I think, that's, that what, I think that's what um, Aaron might have been asking. Caught on the full, but anyway. Referee Stephen Pleffer. Um, the Pleff. The Pleff. Again, good work to travel all the way from Bingra down for the nines and young Ryan Schmiedel. Tackle underneath there from uh, Harley Milgate. So we go, oh, I think Mitch Doring's calling for a knock on the Oh, oh there's one from one Jobbo. Yeah. It's a bit of a, uh, oh, it's going to come back there. Yeah, Jobbo just manhandled poor old Nathan Vasey. Just you know? expressing a little bit of frustration there, I think, from the oh. arrow. Expressing some frustration. Yeah, expressing some frustration. We can't have these intelligent guys in the <laughs> oh, And I'm not intelligent. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> like this. I am far from that. We're about, uh, they're about 35 metres out from their own trial line. Matty Gillum, then on to Zachy Hatch. Good step by Zachy. Uh, couldn't get outside. Cody Tickle. Cody Tickle there, good Bit tackle. Head clash here. The referee might pull this up. No, going to go with it. Aaron Donnelly scoots. Oh, on good ball. Here, Corey, Corey, Corey Hall. Hall. Good chase, Zachy Turnbull. Gonna Great get tackle. Throw the ball in. Great chase, Dylan Zachy Porter. Turnbull. Comes Little and cleans up. Good work. Not sure why Great. Corey Hall passed it back. Did he, was yeah. he going in the touch? We're probably going to miss the replay. Probably not going to go far enough back, but I reckon he might have been going in the back. Yeah. Zachy Turnbull little. again takes it forward. Yeah, he's a long way from the sideline. He probably just needed to hold that, Corey. Deal Lake is Nathan definitely Douglas finding in. himself yeah. Yeah, coming half a lot more. Yeah, mate, it looks like they're playing him there tonight, so trying that similar role to Brenton. Cody Tickle, 40-20. Oh, I don't know if his foot was in the right spot, and he's going to get it if it goes. He's Definitely oh. looked like it was behind. Oh, what are they calling here? Take advantage of our yeah. replay. We'll go I've got a feeling he was just behind. Oh. Oh, Ooh. foot was on the line. Controversy the line. here. Foot was on the line. Is, on the line. Is, yeah. Well, I don't know if it'll come up again, Bone. Look. Yeah. Foot was on the line, so it's not a 40-20. It's got to be behind the line, just for you. Just for the listeners. Listeners at home. Just give it. So. <laughs> 
It's say like Brennan's giving something, but at the moment it's still nil all, and we got the clock is slowly ticking. Three and a half minutes to go, and uh, Matty Gillen Matty picks, Gillen, up, good picks run. up easy ten metres. A few more now, nearly fifteen metre run. Good run, Matty. You got to push up. Look for the offload. Oh. It's going to call. Knock on, knock on from Shay Brennan. Oh, I think uh, it might have been a harsh call there. I think Matty was trying to offload, and I think so we'll go with the referee on that one. Aaron Donnelly's a bit more involved this week. Harley Millgate's coming off. Jimmy Pascoe's going on. Quick little interchange there. Kobe Bone, the young Bulldog. Went for trials on the weekend, as we mentioned earlier. Hopefully we'll catch him after the next game. Matty Gillam out the mix. Boom. Oh, oh that's dead. He's, He's a through. through. He's probably going to get a... Oh. Oh. It's um, unlucky. What, what can we, we have a look at here? Press that red there. button. Press that button. We're going to get a replay here. Mark See what caused a little tumble there. He's through. He's just in himself. himself. Here we go. They're on a break here. The uh, Shay Brennan side. Forty metres out from the from the try line. Your 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 set bone. Take it away, brother. No, mate. Dill Lake here. Cody Tickle, Cody little tickle. kick here. Liam Ball, who's just come on, chases back for JT Fossey. Need the bounce. Oh, in out. He's Oh, oh, taking it a touch. Oh, oh penalty. Oh, oh. Sir, I don't think the tackle was ever finished. He's. What was that? Oh. A little bit lucky there. I think yeah, Borley did a great. Fossey. Borley did do a good job to get out, but I don't think the tackle was finished. Yeah. No. I'll be having a chat with that referee over the dinner table tonight. Yeah. Uh, well, he's coming up here, so we can we'll, we'll ask him the questions. We'll we'll yeah. See what he's got we'll to go. say. I'm sure the viewers want to hear as well. We've got two minutes to go. Great shot there from Sammy Sadler on Nathan Vasey with Thomas Brown coming over and good work there from Thomas Sloan. I don't know why they're playing two markers. Let's have a rest. <laughs> oh. Dwight Millgate. Good. Oh, good footy. Out to 13. I'm not sure who this kid is. Liam but he's got a bit. Oh, Liam Island. Yeah, he's in the 13 today. Inside. Kobe. Back into Dwight, who started a great try and a bonus a point. Bonus one too. First try, and it's the bonus try. It's a little bit unlucky there. We'll get it. We'll go all the way back. No, we only get, uh, we didn't quite get far enough. I left it too long. Um, but he started it down here. Um, yeah. With a little, little offload to Liam Island. Um, and I said it a few weeks in a row now, Liam Island. Certainly not one of the slowest kids running around the paddock. No, no. But he gets in the dummy half and puts his ears down and down. We've seen there that... You know, Timmy Pascoe converted. But, uh, Seven nil, right on half time. It's, uh, it's a shame because Shay Brennan, for me, has probably been the better of the yeah, sides. Yeah, started well. Had more of the footy. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I know um, both sides have probably missed opportunities. Mitch Doring missed one not long ago where he knocked it out himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, running too fast. But... Um, Good game of footy. Good game of footy. Um, I think Cody's just trying to wind the clock down. Good. Sammy Sadler out to the, um, give it a Jack soccer Tyre. throw. Oh, ball's still Jack alive. Tyre. He's dropped it. Oh, he's got the ball back, Jake Ty. From We've got to be quick. Maury boy. 15 seconds to go. We've got to get a wide. Last get play a wide, get a wide Dobbo. And again. And again. Oh, oh Borley. Oh, good, good Borley. That Hand of God. Yeah. Hand of God. <laughs> Hand of God. <laughs> um, it just players. reiterates We've what you said earlier. The, oh, it took too long. In the tap. It's um, good half of footy. Yeah, bonus nice. point. Uh, I've got a feeling that that bonus try is going to play a part. Yeah. Especially with the, uh, the looking, kicking. Yeah, looking at the moment, I think the bonus the bonus try is probably going to play a part in this game. Yeah. It's, um, it's probably, it's, I'm probably stating the obvious. That's it. Yeah, it's 7 0. Um, both sides have missed a couple of opportunities. Um, Nathan Vasey, for me, has been very, very good for JT Fossey. Mm. Mitch Doring does what Mitch Doring does. You, you sort of get used to that and you expect that from Mitch. Yep. Um, other than dropping the ball with the line open. No, he's, been, he's played well. He's definitely, obviously. But, um, Let everyone around the park well. Shay, Shay Brennan's this week. It's obvious to see with, with Dill Lake playing at dummy mm. half that it's a, it's a different game for them. Um, probably taking a little bit out of Brent Cochran's yeah. playbook, which is, it's, yeah. it's working. Yeah. Well, yeah. They had the one try behind and they've had a couple of opportunities in the game to get on the ball. Yeah. So. It's proven from Kerry's, obviously, with Brent from the last 
how many games they've played. They're undefeated, so it's a testament to him. Five games. Five games, five wins. <laughs> so yeah, like, you're mad uh, not to give it a go. Yeah, Dill Lake is obviously we, made for the nines. We've said it a few times that you, know, you can control the game from the nine. And yeah. The sides that are, that are controlling it there. Matty Wilson makes a difference when he comes on from Marriott Street there. Yeah. Brent's controlling it there. Yeah. Matt Gillum and, and Liam Island to a point for the for the JT Foss yeah, and number nine's controlling the game for them. And now it looks like we've got Bill Lake yeah. for them. And yeah, no, I agree, mate. It's, it's proven to be effective yeah. for, for them. Yeah, exactly, mate. It's uh, as you say, it's the uh, um, you know they, they, the player whoever's there is controlling the game. They can either you know play short or or if the space is there, get the ball to the space. So. Um, it's uh, it's been successful, and even for JT, you know, it probably seems Matty Gillum's played dummy half there, uh, you know, each week at the moment. But even I suppose here tonight, he's uh, he's looking to explore a bit more and get him on that front foot and get the roll on. So, and then play off the back of it. And uh, we're having a big talk. We only touched real briefly on it. We had a quick chat with Matty Parsons last night. And he's going well with his leg. Most yeah. people will know that he had an accident not long ago, and he's. He's a, a, a lovely big fella, and yeah. so that, with respect, he's a lovely big fella, and he, he's very upbeat. And he said, Schmeeds, there's a lot worse people in the world than me. Yeah. He said, I've still got my leg, and, yeah. and stuff like that. And he, he, I think he gets a little bit embarrassed that people are making a bit of a fuss about it. Oh. Yeah. No, he's a good man, Matty. Yeah, but he's right. It's, uh, we, we wish him well with his leg. He's got a way to go, but he's, uh, he's a good man. Yeah. So, second As you half. said, mate, the other boy's there. Big Dave, he's there, his brother, older brother. He's... Uh, Made the trip from uh, from Newcastle down. Got to make it back tomorrow. He's uh, part of the Cessnock squad. That'll uh, he's the, the head trainer there in the grand final of the Newcastle comp tomorrow. So interesting kickoff. Now, do you, do you know, Mr. Wikipedia? They probably did, but did the boys play together bush footy? Matt yeah, they Rowe? did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was that yeah. at, at um, Perigool or somewhere? No, they played at Nowra. Nowra. Okay. Won a comp at Nowra. I was going to say, I'm sure they would have gone well together. Yeah. I, I thought Kobe they played Bone, good run, good run Kobe Bone. That hard line, Mitch Doring controlling Matty Gillum's at the right there, Mitch Doring. Yeah, they had the biggest pack ever. I can imagine that. It was both. massive. There was a front row that was bigger than Matthew. Really? Yeah. they would you um, say more? Um, I can't think of his name now. He was a monster of late. He would have been six foot eight and about 130. <laughs> Wowza. God, yeah, okay. Now, I say Brandon's got a nice cheap ball here. Cody Tickle Ooh. found himself a dummy half. Call, 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 call back. Call, call, call back. back. Is that Bryce, on. Bryce Daniels? Bryce Daniels. Daniels. Yeah. Kill Porter. He goes well, Bryce Daniels. Daniels. Yeah, he's been good for, he's, um, uh, for Shea Brennan. He was playing a bit of dummy half there, I think it was week one or even yeah. last week, and looked good. And got had to Marky Hayne with a bit of work here, a bit of room to move Marky. Good to see Marky Hayne back on the paddock. Yeah. Uh, had an indifferent year a couple of years ago, but he's back. Another one that's good on his feet, Bones. Um, we've seen a bit of him through the rep stuff. Sammy Sandler, Sammy good off low. Oh, oh, nice nice six 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 go. six good opportunity here for Real the uh, Shay Brenners to get on sorry, the board. Sorry, we should say four again. Four again, yeah. sorry, yeah. Sammy Sadler, Sadler, he's very involved here early. But, um, good hit up, good tackle. They're about 25 metres out. Good Quick play, play the ball. Do you like to go from there? Jobbo! On the front Get over, Jobbo! Good strong run. He was in the running for the Group 4 Best and Fairest last yeah. year or the year before. Yeah, no. each year he usually is, if he doesn't get sent off. <laughs> Mark Hayne, good pass. Cody Tickle. Oh, Cody nice. Tickle. He's, he's looking gonna, in. He's bring it round. Uh, oh, they're on the board. Pointer. Now we've got a game. Oh, hang on. I nearly missed my replay button. I think it was good, bo- good work there from Marky Hayne, I think, to skip to the outside. Yeah. We'll get it on here. Yeah, he's caught Jimmy Pascoe going out for it. I don't know if Jimmy needed to shoot out of the line. Uh, I think that, he probably, if he probably holds his spot, yeah. they don't get that two. try. So yeah. if you get a chance, Jimmy, I'll send you the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to Fall Mac TV on YouTube and you go to rewatch yes. it. And go Tickle, gets the conversion. Yeah, we're back to a one-point yeah. game. But we'll get, well, we've got a, a quick break. Shea Brennan Constructions is in this game. Thank you, Shea Brennan, for your um, sponsorship. JT Fossey, thank you to the crew there with their sponsorship. Carey's Freight Lines, Mary Street Family Dental, Dental, Family Dental. And then we've got Fall Mac TV. Thanks to Matt and the guys. Do a fantastic job. West Entertainment Group are actually the major sponsors of this competition, so it's good to see the West Entertainment guys back involved with Rugby League. Civil Con, who are the, um, the COVID-19 officers, which... In their bright orange vest, I can't see too many of them wandering around. Bones, are they there? Yeah, about, mate. And then Country Pavers, um, which is Steve Ball and his crew. Um, thank you, guys. They sponsor the water bottles. So we're now we're back underway. We've got uh, a little under six minutes to go. 
with uh, JT Fossey leading by one courtesy of a yeah. bonus try. And um, this will be tackle three. Mitch Doring's going to the line. Nice little short ball for Nathan Vasey. They play a bit together out of Manila yeah, this year. Yeah. Good offload there for Liam Island. Good oh, good inter. pass. Great pass from Liam Island. They're going to get another bonus try. Oh, oh. Don't drop it, Mitch. No. It was, um, good pass there from uh, Liam Island. Yeah. Kept the ball alive there. Yeah. I must have pushed the button hard enough. Jimmy Pascoe makes the kick. Pascoe. Conversion. We're going, we're going all the way back to Cody Tiggles. Cody Tiggles. So I wasn't, yeah, I, was back, yeah, I wasn't quick enough on the button. Sorry, guys. Back to live. Yes. Some good form. I'm not sure why Liam Island's got the headgear on. Um, he, he doesn't normally wear headgear. Huh. He might uh, might be happy with his haircut or something. Bad so cut. Let's cover it up. Danny, cover it up. Danny Boland. Good 12 metre run by the time he gets tackled from the kickoff. Um, oh. Oh, yes, good call, sir. Good call. I think Dan was trying to milk a penalty there. Unfortunately, say Brennan's can't afford those little fundamentals. No. You're down to work hard in defence here. A little bit disjointed here at the moment. Yeah, Vossi yeah. takes it forward for him. Good, good run. Throws one out. The veteran, Abel Carney. Uh, he'd be in that veteran class now, <laughs> wouldn't he, Abes? Worked his way in there. Yeah. And so he certainly hasn't got any slow. Because he couldn't have got any slow than what he was when he was playing, <laughs> could he? He'd been a bit arse on him, but no, he's very skillful, Abes. Um, very good goal kicker. So obviously give the cricket away. I was watching uh, police boys play today. I didn't see him running around there. Okay. He was a, he was a very, very good goal kicker. He got numbers good here, Liam Island. Good footy again. Good oh. kick. Nice little kick from Liam Island. Oh, oh. Great clean up. Oh. Is that Jobbo? Yeah, Jobbo. Great That's a great effort Jackson. from Jobbo. He was on his own then. There was about four JT Fossey coming through. So good effort there. There you go. Little kick by Liam Island. Nice little kick. Then he put in the big ones in. Oh, he, he did Straight very, away. very good there, John. It's a good second effort there. Oh, nice kick off. Uh, drop out. Oh, tackle in the air, sir. No, no, play, no. On. play on. Got a jump, I think. But, uh, we've got three and a half minutes to go. We, oh, what are we going to call him? No, Matt? Play on there. Oh, no, we've got six to go. Six, six to go. Um, things just aren't falling so Brennan's way this game. We've had no, some no, opportunities. No, six again. Can't be bad now. Four to go. Four to go. Four to go. Cabby Bone. But um, Jimmy Pascoe out. They should score here. They've got numbers if it goes through their hands. Liam Ball. Out to Abel Carney. Flying wing. winger. Yeah. He's been on the wing for a long time, eh? Let go. See <laughs> going out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's harsh. That's harsh. But fair. Mm. But fair. It's a shame that this is he's skipped out. Like buster, eh? Yeah. Step back as well. I've got, I've got to get on that replay button earlier. Brent, what are you doing? You've done well. It's a shame that it's, it's sort of starting to skip out of this because Shay Brennan has been way better than what that, uh, that score suggests. Yeah. You know, it's, you've got to take your opportunities when they're there. In nines. But, um, Two minutes to finish off strong here. We've got that next game. Oh, look, if they can score... Two tries and one being under the yeah. post. You know, this in, in nines, two minutes is a long time. Yeah. We know the golden try uh, makes a hell of a difference. Well, look, if they get one golden try mm. and a normal try, they're, they're home mm. if they convert both. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're certainly not rushing here for a team that's behind by 12. See Luke Taylor in the grandstand. He's not wearing his Canberra Raiders shirt today. Yeah. No, no, I've seen Jason Burrows here. He's one of my friends that uh, works for Kerry's Freight Line. <laughs> He's a mad Raiders supporter. He, he was nowhere near his jumper today. No Raiders yeah, shirt today, no, Tubby. Hey? Look at him. He's <laughs> he looks a bit different in the blue in the black shirt. <laughs> no. Okay, now we got. He was uh, pretty happy Shea yesterday. So Brennan's here attacking Marcus Hain, getting outside Jimmy Pascoe again. Oh. Mitch got uh, he, he got him. He got he there, Jake. Him. Jake Ty. He's, uh, he's caused a few dramas on that edge, Marky, for, yeah. for Jimmy Pascoe, hasn't he? So he, he skipped has. outside him a couple of times. So. Drawn and pass. And now he, now uh, they've become a little bit more lively. Is yeah. that Cody Tickle? Jake. No, uh, he had the conversion already. No, Jake Ty from the Moree boy. Yeah, he Jake, scored out there. So. Cody Tickle didn't convert. We missed a missed replay it. on that one. Yeah. But 18-10. Um, they're probably going to go down here with a, a clock ticking away into the final seconds. 
unfortunate for Trey Banners because I thought they were pretty good. Oh, I thought they were more than pretty good, but um, you, you can't be whinging about JT's wasting time by walking back because no. everybody would Everyone do Everyone has done the exact everybody same. Everybody do exactly the same. Yeah, correct. No, it's, uh, it's called gamesmanship, is that what they call it? Yeah. But, um, As you said, mate, probably unlucky that uh, just right on half time that seven yeah. point try yeah. that um, Dwight M Millgate sparked um, the JT Fossey side. Well, Harley under his brother great Dwight. Tackle. Great yeah. tackle underneath oh. there. Sammy Sadler, was it? Yeah. yeah. yeah great effort from Sammy. Oh, penalty oh. now. Oh, what's, I'm not sure, kicking Off. the ball away? Or? Offside, I think he said. Okay. Really? Zachy Turnbull. Great to see him score in this last play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, too slow. It would have been nice to score a, uh, no, no, a no, bonus try, but bonus it made it 18-17. Uh, but they'll be a bit unlucky, I think, Shay Brennan, so I think they, um, they had some luck. Well, the Millgate brothers aren't happy with each other. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if they'll have words, but they're, they're still going here. Look, yeah. they're still, still at each other. You set me up for don't, a dumb brother. Don't see me that dump again, would you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. We're brothers. Don't, don't set me up for the, for the... Well, it was a good tackle by Sydney, Sam. It was, mate. Yeah, so, it was. Well, they, they weren't happy with each other. Though. Somebody was in the wrong. But uh, look, a good game. Man of the match. Um, obviously, we don't pick. Um, the other one, Nathan Vasey was very good. He was good. Mitch Mitch Doring. Mitch Doring. Mitch would probably be up there, I would well, expect. Mitch, Mitch, I think, got two two tries. One was a seven pointer. Yeah, Mitch, yeah. Mitch will probably win it. Yeah. Although Nathan Vasey was very good. I thought um, Liam Island did a couple of good things. Yeah, so Mark, Mark things. Hain was probably the pick of the show. Yeah, he was good. Boys. Early made that first half. Thomas Brown and um, he was good for them. Obviously, took the ball forward strong for him. So yeah. yeah. Um, Again, Dill being in, Dill and Lake, sorry, being in there at um, um, dummy half. That uh, that gave him a little bit there as well. So yeah, I, I think that made a massive yeah. difference to the yeah. game. Dill being in there, um, he said, you know, they missed a couple of opportunities. They could turn into points, and, and with nines, you got to you got to take them. Haven't you? you can't you can't let opportunities go. So hopefully, we'll get. So I think Ryan and James. We'll come up now. You got a mic on you, so yeah. You got a mic, yeah. Oh, Brayden sure. Sylvester there on the other line has been doing a bit of. Oh, I was trying to. Yeah. You know, I was trying to remember his name from earlier. Yeah, only when he walked up the tunnel there, I didn't realise who it was. He's another young kid coming through the referee ranks. We, yeah. um, last week we had a, a, a girl, young Felicity. Yeah, Felicity, she's yeah, there. Yeah, so touch in around. So. Yeah, it, it's good to see the not just the females getting involved in, in the officiating. Oof. Yeah. The officiating of the game. But the young kids coming yeah. through, like Braden, yeah. from this year, um, yeah. unfortunately down at minor league and, and some senior games, the kids get a bit of a hammering from the crowd, which, which is disappointing, but I guess it's part of our game that we'd like to stamp out, but yeah. a lot of work's got to be done there. But it's good to see the kids coming through because Absolutely. without... I don't know, look, I've got a young fellow that's a referee and I hated him for years. And yeah. When it's, he puts on that outfit, I don't talk to him. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's fair with, enough. Without them, we don't have the game. Yeah, so, exactly. And that, and it's not an easy job. Yeah. And, and that goes back to those the, uh, kids. Here that comes the ghost with the three two. Okay, so the man of the match, the bottom up man of the match was Mitch Doring. Um, Sammy Sadler got the two points. Good choice. Yeah, and Kobe and, uh, and Kobe Bone, the young bulldog, hopefully uh, yeah. picked up the one point. So uh, well done, guys. Sammy. Uh, I don't Doring. think we touched on uh, game one because we uh, we didn't get it to an hour on a break. Oh, but yeah. uh, Brenton Cochran was the, the man of the match, man in the, the match. bottom up man of the match in in the first game. Uh, Sammy Taylor got the two points uh, from Carey's and uh, Matty Wilson from uh, Mary Street. Family Dental got the uh, the one point, so she'll be uh, again Brenton and uh, Mitchell dominating. But, uh, hopefully, we'll get the, the bottle, referees up here. The bottle mart that uh, Manila will be getting keep, to work out. Sorry, we, we keep forgetting about bottle mart as a, as a sponsor. Here we go. You still there, Matt? We'll uh, we'll shoot. Yeah, to they our, come in. We'll shoot to our GoPro, Matt, because we got some interview guys. Get, get the big camera. You got us, Matty. There we go. Thanks. Get guys. the big camera for the yeah, royalty. Get the, Get the big one. on this one here. <laughs> the, 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 the eye doesn't move, Bones only moves to I you. I can hold it for you, mate. Don't go It'd hide, be an honour. It'd be yeah. an honour to hold it for you. So we, we, we've been making some jokes up here with your name, James Brown. We're wondering if you can sing a song for us. I'd love to, but not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> I'm well, a bit busy. Well, just Brent, a chorus? Brent said he doesn't know you, but he said he, you heard, he heard that you can play a musical instrument. And I said, ah. which one? He said a trumpet. He said he's good at blowing his own horn. Admittedly, I thought I'd seen him over in Gunnedah. 
busting a few tunes. I've thought I've seen you a few times over yes, on the mic. We are going at our boys. Yeah, <laughs> yep. absolutely. Got to stick together. Yeah. Right, guys, <laughs> well, for the referees, we've got the young and the old, respectfully. Red, how many years you've been refereeing, James? Uh, 16. 16. Um, you would have come through when there was the sevens. Did you do much for yes. yeah. How do you enjoy the nines compared to 13 aside for a start and then maybe the sevens? Well, I think it's a fabulous initiative. It's great to see footy back on the park, especially here at beautiful Scully. Where else would you want to be on a beautiful spring yeah. night? Kitchen the park, Canada, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I, th I think it's fabulous. Uh, once you can see the team starting to evolve as they go through and they're starting to work out how to play nines. I think at the start they tried to play a bit like 13 aside. Um, but now you're starting to see a little bit more free-flowing footy. Kicks, chances, trying to spark the game up, and I think that's only a plus. As a referee, how are you enjoying it? I know you've talked about Skelly Park, and it's good to have footy on the paddock, but you're enjoying the nines itself as in the game? Yeah, it's, it's great to be back running around again. I mean, we've only had juniors this year, which is, which is good that we've had some footy, but it's good to be back out with the big boys running around and... Um, yeah, enjoy, enjoying it as much as we can. Now, now for you, Ryan, like you're one of the younger referees coming through, um, yeah. about to turn 21, still living at home, so hurry up and move out, please. <laughs> how, how are you enjoying the nines, um, like the pace of it and stuff like that? You know, it's been really good. It's um, been good, quick footy. Uh, the boys have played really well and they've just enjoyed the footy and they've been playing it. Um, like James said, that the first few games they sort of tried to play like normal footy, but they soon worked out they've got to run a bit quicker. Uh, which from a referee's point of view isn't too good. It means we've got to run quicker too. Um, but no, it's been really good and we've given a few juniors a run on the lines and, and the experience for them has been really good. Yeah, we were just mentioning a couple of Felicity last week and young... Um, Braden Sylvester. Yeah, Braden tonight. Sylvester. Um, I, I don't understand all the legalities and you know, how things work. Is there a chance that one of those two might be able to do a centre with a senior guy? Oh, look, with the accreditation processes, they're not quite allowed um, to, to officiate senior games depending yeah. on the accreditation level. Because people will ask. People will yeah. ask the question. Um, yeah, it's more the legality of it and the insurance wise. Um, if they're out there on the field and something happens, we could be held liable. Now, now a question for you is both. Um, how are the players been to you guys? Because the concepts have some fun, even though we still want to win. Has there been much lip given back, much abuse, <laughs> much. Cause, yeah, some players are pretty good at controlling you referees, some others are. <laughs> Yeah, has there been many tried to test us? I, I, don't, I can't remember a time where we've had um, a s less stress on the field. They're, they're quite <laughs> yeah. happy to play and yeah. we've had like, the, the discipline's been excellent. I don't think we've even had a penalty for back chat, yeah. which is really pleasing to see that they're embracing the whole idea and they're here to play footy and yeah. that's what's important. Here for the number what, one. What I'm happy at the moment, sorry guys, what I'm at at the moment, I haven't seen Ryan give anybody 10 in the bin yet. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, <laughs> you just, you well, just put the jar no, on him. Tr Trent can't. Taylor keeps asking me about it but um, he hasn't quite played as much footy with me out in the centre so he's managed to stay on the field. There's a, there's but you know, it's been really good with the players. Um, we've all had a bit of a laugh and we give it to each other as much as they give it to us so we certainly give it back to them but it's been good and there hasn't been any real serious moments which has been really enjoyable. Obviously, uh, you know, we spoke about some of the younger guys coming through. Number-wise, how is the association? Obviously, with COVID this year, it was obviously difficult. And I, I suppose a few of the senior referees, um, and I know, you know James yourself and, and Ryan down there helping the juniors here in Tamworth when I was about. Um, you know, what are numbers like and, you know, what do we think we're going to look at for 2021? Uh, for this season, uh, there's quite a few senior referees that didn't um, participate this year just because there was the lack of footy for them. Um, if they might have registered, but they wouldn't have got much footy in the juniors. It would have been good to have them help out down on the grounds. But um, did the stats through the week and we're about 40% down in our registration for this year. Um, but with no senior footy, that's pretty well a given. There's probably about 10 to 15 of those that are seniors. Uh, moving forward into 2021, uh, we're certainly doing some re-engagement in the next couple of months to try and get some guys that didn't register this year and some new blood in there. How, how many referees do you need for a weekend of rugby league? Um, juniors and seniors, because there's, there's a crossover, obviously, because I've seen both you guys down at Junior League then have to back up. What would be the ideal number that you wouldn't have to do that? <laughs> 50? <laughs> well, if, if, we're, if we're looking at a lot of sides having yeah. four, te oh, yeah. four teams next year, then that's going to be at least four referees. Um, and that's both, that's two, say you have two games on two days, yeah. the, that's going to be eight, 16 centres. That's yeah. not even counting lines so for juniors. Well, the, re the reason I ask, because I mean, we go back a long way, I did some refereeing and, and I understand how so much. What do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I blew a lot of penalties because the game was far coming oh, out. Right. He, did, he did lots of penalties wearing the number nine uh, jumper. <laughs> yeah. I just know how much running gets done by a referee in a game. And a lot of people wouldn't understand how many Ks kilometers as you guys would do in a particular in a, in a in a normal game of 13 aside 
Now, if you do one on a Saturday and one on a Sunday, that's a lot of stress on, on the bodies. And again, I'll be respectful, James, you're getting up into the older age bracket. For you to be running two or three games in a weekend is a lot of work. Yes, I think that, I think in my time here, I've only ever done two first grade games in one weekend, and that's because someone had broken down, and I filled in on the Sunday as well, yeah. and, and I, I nearly had an injury, and yeah. and yeah, I, well, that, I yeah, that's, yeah, so ideally we you know, you'd like fifty odd referees. What's the most we've ever had in the group? Uh, we probably two three years ago we had about seventy registered. Okay. Um, this year we only had thirty four. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so when we were, when Group Four seniors were in talks of trying to get up this year and with juniors and everything, we worked it out. We would have needed at least fifty five yeah. comfortably to get by, the, and yeah. that's still with yeah. a lot of double yeah. up. So, well. so what would be what would be your minimal number if footy gets up and running next year? Because like players, there's probably going to be some players won't play next year because they've had a year off. There'd be probably some referees that might not referee next year. So how many would be your minimal you need to run a competition? Well, ballpark are probably still sitting around the 50 mark just to yeah. get comfortable. Because it's, it's a lot that off a Saturday morning they're doing three or four down at juniors and then we're moving off into seniors doing another two or three there and then you've got yeah. Sunday as well. So yeah. there's and, and that's part of it. Like, you know, as I say, we, we talk about the senior level at times, but there's junior games usually here in Tamworth, uh, Gunnada, um, Narrabri with the, with the junior leagues there as well. So um, I think there was one yesterday that I, well, during the week actually through work was um, how many teams we had from sixes to sixteens last year and there was uh, over 100 teams. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, throughout Group 4 region. So that's taking into account our Narrabri, Gunnada, um, Tamworth District Junior Leagues, obviously through our sixes to twelves, and then you're looking at um, your thirteens to sixteens as well. So, so that's, that's you know, a lot that's, of referees. That's yeah. like, you know, if you, you two aside, there's fifty games. Yeah, you know it, I mean, it that, depends that could on be happening on a weekend, and then plus you've got um, you know your senior games. And as Barney said, if we've got uh, eight clubs with four sides, there's um, you know another what thirty-two games there. Basically. And yeah. that, that, that referees doesn't count basically. on availability. Yeah. Like yeah. blokes aren't always available. Yeah. Yeah. And so. um, you know, family and work commitments. Well, a lot of blokes. If they work in the mine, you know, they yeah. are Shift only available work. every yeah. second week. Yeah. And doing the appointments is really tricky. Yeah. So, and, and with Gunnar and Narrow, they've probably skated the last few years with not even having referees out there for a lot of the games. They've just had coaches for the younger age yeah. groups. <laughs> so home team advantage. Home team advantage yeah, there. That, that's the thing. So there's even, so not even calculating that, but probably to get a referee on each game, we're at least 60 to 70. Yeah. So, yeah. Ryan, for those, obviously, if there's anyone listening looking to get, obviously, re-engaged or looking at obviously give back to rugby league um refing what what have they got to do (laughs) what have they got to do give them the uh what's the process you can find us on facebook uh it's just group four referees association um or you can send us an an email at gp4referees at gmail.com um or even just go through the general website for nrl which is refrugbyleague.com that's your full-time job now the referees development officer yeah so i'm the nrl referees development officer for the northwest region um so if you can't find that way just go through nrl there's an uh, interest process there and you can just lodge it that way and it comes through us now i've got two things to finish with from from my point of view stepping into next year do do you think We've already said out there the players just love them being on the paddock. Um, it's nines, but do you think next year that they'll have a different outlook on the game with abuse towards you guys? Do you, do you think they'll be just happy to be on and just play footy? You know? uh, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Tom will tell. I think the last three weeks has been a bit more rapport built between the players and referees, so um, hopefully moving into next year there will be a bit more of a mateship there and a bit more yeah. fun out on the field, yeah. so at yeah. least a couple of the first rounds. Sips. Opportunity for you. Your sponsors, you want to mention who your sponsors are? You, well, I can't pronounce oh, abs- it. Absolutely, uh, Win and Ali Win and, and uh, West Entertainment Group. Yeah, so uh, Win and Ali are major sponsors, and uh, yeah, with West Entertainment Group as our secondary sponsors there. If anyone's interested in getting on board with our sponsorship yeah. as well, we're still looking, so we're more than happy to get anyone on board. Um, just follow those same ways for referees to get involved. Yeah. Win and Ali still run by. Griffo? Yes. Wayne Griffiths. Yep. Shout out to Wayne there. Yeah, he's yeah, pro- he's so probably watching online, hopefully, yeah, but so, yeah. they're very they're very good to us and we're we're happy we're so glad to have them on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Look, Wayne's been involved in rugby league for many years, coached our group four um, side. Group four yeah, side of the years, coached the women's um, rep side, yeah. I think. Yeah, he um, did the women's then after that yeah, for a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, so, so yeah, so it's good to see that he's staying involved. I think yeah. he's coaching the, I shouldn't know, he's coaching the Gunnar girls side. <laughs> um, so you know, he's still involved in the game. It's great connection. Great connection. Yeah. yeah, first great coach. Yeah. Yeah. Where the other coaches but, uh, are. Anything you guys want to finish off <laughs> It's your two or three minutes? No, I think it's just good that we yeah, thank the group and our, and Bottle Mart for um, sponsoring the referees. Our, our new kit is, is fabulous. So I think that's really, really important to acknowledge those guys. Yeah. And, and the socks. And, and the socks. socks. Love them. They're so looking Bottle sharp. Bottle Mart's your sponsor, so you so, get a, like a free beer or something? 
Well, I do like a beer. <laughs> He's only human. He's only human. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, thanks, 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 fellas. We're probably lucky the referees aren't giving the 3-2-1. We're only going to be getting the bottle mark voucher. <laughs> <laughs> what bottle mark voucher? <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate All right. it. Great, great to hear from the referees. Yeah. We, um, they do cop a pizzler, um, and I've... No. We're all probably used, guilty. I, of, I used to be one of the worst. Yeah, but, on the paddock, uh, I never, never abused one from the sideline. Uh, oh, oh, hang, hang on. on. <laughs> as a coach, hang as a coach, as, as a, a coach. spectator, as a spectator, I'd never, <laughs> never, never, ever give it to him as a spectator. But as a coach, I think there might have been once or twice I was sent behind the fence. Once or twice. <laughs> but look, they're, they're a valuable part um, yeah. of the oh, game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's great to hear that. Um, sometimes I think we forget that they are people. Yeah. We forget that they are boyfriends, girlfriends, kids of, yeah. uh, of families yeah. and stuff like that. And, you know, I know this was like-minded people. Well, look, look, this will sound a little bit funny, but they do have feelings. Yeah. Um, so, but it's good to hear that they they love and being yeah. on the paddock. And, and but there is a rapport getting built with them. And I, I can remember years ago, Bones, when after games, referees would come back come to the, the pub, pub and, and they'd yeah. joke around with the players. Yeah. That happens, hasn't oh, happened no, for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. Yeah. They give, even give players a lift home. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Pratt and Steele won't never forgive you for bringing a black back from Manila for him. A little bit, a little bit more to that one, I, I feel. Mick asked, Mick asked Barry and the referees whether they could give a lift back to a bloke. So the bloke didn't realise that he was the referee. It took about halfway through the trip where they needed a pit stop, and then he realised that the rest of the trip was very tense. <laughs> he didn't realise he was the referee for that game. For that game. For that game. Yeah. But, um, yeah look, I'd love to see that. that kind of stuff and I know but Gundar from our point of view it's going to be one of our big things that make we go back to the opposition club because yeah. I think some of that's been lost um, as much as we all want to win yeah. and we're all very competitive we've lost that, that you know the connection between the clubs and stuff that, yeah, you know, that rival, here we go we just got a referee come to the window looking for money as you for money you realise he's not in control of the game you just give the bird on TV there yeah. so. yeah. the, bird, the bird on the TV, TV. <laughs> Give them your best. Yeah, no, it's uh, absolutely brilliant, and they're obviously the backbone. Well, can't can't go anything on the field without them. They, so they're, they're a very very important part. Of yeah. yeah, understand. Yeah, people are going to get frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's no different than anything else. But so, yeah, just understand that they are people, and they make errors like yeah. we do. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, the worst thing for the referee, they're not allowed to make a mistake. Yeah, yeah. and for, yeah. for some of them, they uh, might not be able to have the opportunity to play, and there's obviously the same love for rugby yeah. league as the well, players. So I know quite a few blokes at referee that, that have openly admitted that they, yeah. they weren't good players because yeah. they, they didn't like contact, yeah. they didn't like yeah. help and bash, and stuff yeah. like that. that. So, to be part of the game, the yeah. referee. Yeah. yeah, and they still have that love for the game, so yeah. there's more than me, one I'm way. I'm a rugby league tragic. I've been involved in the game for a long time. For me to have a, a, my son refereeing, he's still involved in the game. He wasn't interested in playing. Yeah. He played once when he was in the under sixes, didn't like it, but he's still involved it's in the game. Involvement. Very, very, you know, you know, it's entrenched in our family. Yeah. You know, yeah. So for me, that, you know, it's, it's great that he's still involved in the game. And he cops a pizzle. Oh. He, he literally cops a pizzle, but you know, he, he takes it all as. That's what the job is, Dad. That's you know, it's to be expected. So. Mate, they um, and look, you know, when you look at the region as a whole, and you, you look at obviously uh, uh, the three Sutton boys have all refereed, you know, first grade, and um, uh, Grasshopper and Jared are still refereeing. Um, you got Dave Munro from up in Group 19 area, who's uh, you know a first grade referee in Sydney. And you got Shane Hayne, who was from Musselbrook, who was also a first grade referee. So obviously, you know what what these guys have been doing and what they've been taught through, throughout the region from you know, referees past has um, held them in good stead, and they've um, they've gone on to have successful careers. Not that some people think that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beneath the surface. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough game. It's a tough game. Yeah. Saying that no one, no one wants to do, but they want people to be there to do it. Uh, unfortunately, for a referee, they they never make the right decision. <laughs> no. no, people forget that human error is a uh, is a thing, yeah. and it can happen. In now, game number three for the night, we have JT Fossey taking on Marion Streets. Um, family dental. Family dental, and I think um, on points they'll be levelled up now. Um, no, that was only JT's second win, I think. Was it? Well, they've only won two. 
At least it'd be two. Three. Three. Two and three. This would be a good game. Good leap by good Jack, Jack Rumsby. Jack Rumsby. He, would, he wouldn't be out of place on an AFL field that well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good tour. Get him in the singlet. <laughs> in, oh, oh, big mix getting through the middle. You've just got to be careful he doesn't get caught on the bottom of a ruck or a ball there. Mitch has been playing rugby for yeah. a Yeah. Freddy Jarrett. Good tackle over there from uh, Zach Leonard. Now, Trini Taylor there out to uh, Lockie McGrady. I think um, if they can get the ball Last to Gerard, I think he Here's might. Trent, little chip in the corner, good kick. Harley Mill out the back, oh. Awkward bounce, but bounced nicely. Harley cleaned it up well. He's been playing sort of in that second line most yeah. of the tonight. It's an interesting matchup, Braden, Braden Gerard and... Uh, Ooh, oh, good, big, big fan, fan from Nathan Basie. I like Nathan. He's, uh, he's been good. Like he's got a little knock on there. Yeah. Zachy Hatch. Don't hurt him. <laughs> yeah, look after my kids. Aaron Donnelly, he's, gone out with, he's got a bit of room to move here. He'll, uh, I thought he was going to try that right hand flick pass. But good tackle, good defence there from Brett Jarrett. And, yeah. Uh, and Shallow. Road Swain. Dwight Milkate with the what, kick. Not, a, not one of his Jackie better kicks. And uh, just, quickly on, just quickly on Brady Jarrett, though, he's the coach of the 16s Academy this year. Yeah, he'll coach the, uh, the great Northern under 16 side, so um, great that, uh, that Brett's taken that role on. So, um, mate, good for the kids as well. Like Brett, uh, Brett played, uh, well, it was... Here we go, Lockie McGrady, Lockie McGrady yeah. here. A little bit of room to move, sorry to cut you off there, but it's high tackle, but they're going to let that go. Mitchie Denny Corn, yeah. Well, it's South Sydney 20s, was it? Yeah, but he played uh, before that, mate, as a 16-year-old. He was still here at school at Farrah, and he played... Um, uh, they were called the Central Coast Storm, but they were aligned with Melbourne, so yep. he uh, he was travelling down every weekend. Here's uh, Shoab in for oh. is it? Yeah, Shoab Road's fine there, in for the first try for Maria Street. Here we go. It's, um, was that Deacon Senki? Yeah, good yeah. pass there from Deacon. A little bit of work there. Yeah, he's done well. Bit, I think Zachy Leonard put him in a little bit high. Swainy, you happy with that? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think Rowan's. I'm um, sorry, Rowan. I think uh, Shoab's probably scored more more tries than Dad a whole career in one night. Mm. So we got uh, Maria Street leading four 0 Nice. Trenny Taylor missed that. No, oh, he's nice off the boot. Yeah. The young girl we were talking about earlier, Bones, Felicity. Felicity, um, yeah. Flick, Felicity Isles. There she is on the sideline. Side She's out um, there, and I think Braden's on the right, other yeah. line again, Braden Could Sylvester. Be... There's yeah, one of our great. board members walking past, Ronnie Binns. Ronnie Binns. <laughs> he's uh, got, a, got a, a nice <laughs> drink in he's his got a, <laughs> He's got the cheesy grin on too. Happy on. to be here. So uh, we've got about six minutes in the first half to go with uh, Maria Street leading... Good bounce back from Marius after... Narrow loss there in the first game. Yeah, they were very, very strong, weren't they? Yeah. But, um, they, were. they were unlucky in that first one. And they're missing all their superstars, except for James Cooper. Yeah. It's uh, Matty Wilson. Leave him out. Like good run, Zaggy Hatch, back through the middle. Good run from oh, Zaggy. Yeah, good great run. run. Good run. Bit of a legs tackle there from Braden Gerard. Zaggy Leonard, the dummy off. Back to his... Oh, oh. straight through there. Oh, good offload. Good offload. Matty Gillum. About five metres out. Opportunity here, they've got to score they've got here. To they've got numbers if they come left. Oh, and well this could be there. three in the bin, professional foul, no. Oh, good quick tap. Numbers here, Nath Facey. Okay, try time. Taking the quick tap off the penalty. Yeah. And the first try in this game to go to Lee Fossey, scored by a bit number four, Nathan Facey. Now here he comes. Good quick, quick tap, quick tap. Matty Gillum. Probably not too many other people you want to be giving the ball to is Mitch Doring, is he? You know, no. Yeah, um, good try. Played up the numbers, but they had, you know, they had numbers there. Yeah. Good try, oh, good kick. Good, oh, good, good strike good. from Abel. Yeah. yeah it was like four ten, all. Four all. But the games, I know we had a blowout last week with poor old Shea Brennan's, but the games seem to be coming yeah. tighter. Yeah, they yeah. Got start to get a better understanding of the game. Sit down, Si. Itching over there. Okay, we've got um, Matty Wilson's in no rush. So you, you'll, you'll see a distinctive change in the game now for mm. the Mario Street guy with Matty Wilson. Kieran Williams again playing in that middle of the field there. So It's great to see Kieran involved more this week. Here we go. A bit of numbers here. Lockie McGrady. 
Mitch Doring. Mitch Doring, good touch. Oh, oh, gone out. Gone the throw it in and it's uh, stayed on the sideline. I, I, I thought he might have been a bit too quick for him. Yeah. There, didn't yeah. I think Mitch, uh, Mitch found the gear that Mitch probably didn't know he had. He did. Down yeah. bloke. Where, where, give us a bit of a rundown on Lockie McGrady, though. Um, Maureen McGrady? Yeah, Maureen McGrady, mate, obviously. Um, went to school at St Greg's, mate. So okay. he's been, uh, yeah, been at school at St Gregory's for is the last few years. from the McGrady family? Is in you and yeah, Barry, McGrady. I think. Barry's his father. Okay, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, from memory, mate. Yeah, so um, if I've got the right McGrady, I think. Um, if we're wrong, please let us know. Yeah, yeah. As, a, um, as a kid, was a real good long-distance runner, actually. Okay. Yeah, so... He's, um, he's certainly not built like no, that. No, he's got no. the... Uh, he's, he's streamlined. Mm. That long-distance run. <laughs> he, he so him and, him and Trenny, actually. Trenny Tarley used to go against each other, I think, back in oh, primary okay. school on yeah. that. There's, there's, um, well, they're in, a similar build, a, aren't they? In a bit of long-distance yeah. stuff, so from memory. There we go. This was uh, up and under and hope for the best. Good chase by Mitch Good there, take. Uh, Doring. Good chase, young Lockie. He's a, he's a likely character. Yes. Yeah. As we said, mate, Benny Williams is not here tonight, obviously for carries, but um, it's good that um, we've got a few of the boys from Moree that have come across to play um, yeah. in the nines. Yeah, mate, it's, obviously it's Lockie, a big you've commitment. got um, three, three hours to yeah. get two games, you get, what, 20 oh, minutes? Oh, big, big fan there, Deacon Sankey. You're getting one half of footy, basically, yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. So it's a so, big, big effort. Yeah, Jake Ty is playing with the Shea Brennan side, so... Show up. good run. He's a tough character. He yeah. is. But he's in my nine side, I'm taking my hat off to him. Absolutely. You've got to oh, find a spot for him. A little short side. Oh, yeah. Deacon, Deacon Sankey. Sankey. Good pace. That's a great try. It's um, good eyes up footy by Ryan. Yeah, Ryan right. um, I, think he's, I think his second dad might have taught him that. Pete yeah. Stevens <laughs> loves a short, short side. Short side. But, um, look, he's a very, very clever footballer, Ryan, isn't he? Yeah, he's a very, very good player. He's, he's not blessed with pace, with the, with the feet, but he, yeah. he makes up blessed for with it. pace in between the years. Yeah. yeah. And, and like I said, jokingly, you know, Peter Stevens is well known for his short side raids, and he would have done a fair bit of work with the, the kids on identifying numbers years. on short sides yeah, and so. stuff like that. And that's what Ryan did there. So well done, young Sting. And um, I'm sure his old man Ringer, Richard, he hasn't yeah. moved down there on the bench. <laughs> well, he's not allowed to get out there and give messages. So he's just good nudge from the sideline. Just line. calm. Look at him. Yeah. Calm. Hasn't moved. Uh, he would have done six or seven hours of video this week to. Pick out the weaknesses. Actually, he probably had to play four or five ends of bowls today. <laughs> Roll the arm. Roll the arm. Oh, oh, oh. Out of Manila. He's, uh, we'll send out a, a, a cheerio to his old man, Trev. He's yeah. lovely fella, Trev. He's, he's, um, I won't say he's doing it tough, no. but you know, Richard's spending a bit of time with him at the moment. Yeah. And you know, he's heavily involved with the Manila Tigers for a long time. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's back there at the moment. Ring is, uh, Ring is the only problem is now he's got Tani into playing bowls, and she's better than him. So. <laughs> bit of in-house competition. Yeah. Well, nice short side again. Mitch Doring. Oh, oh, probably probably okay. over, tried to overcook yeah. it there, Mitch. And good tackle by Mitch Denning. Denning on Doring. Not much room down there on the short side. Yeah. Mitch Denning on Mitch Doring. Say that a few times. Yeah. One hour ring is going like he's got um, three kids and they're all better at footy than he was. Yeah. You know, his two daughters. Uh, Brody, a very good uh, Oz tag. Le- league tag. And, and league tag. Here's Shoab. Good pace. Go. Aaron Donnelly in all the, the chase. Old stager. Good chase. Back underneath. D- oh, good pass. <laughs> Matty Wilson's going, I don't want to run. Uh, it's too far from the try line for mm-hmm. me. It's um, looking good at the moment, Marius. So we're about 30 metres, well, our 30 metres out. We've only got Maybe about four sure. seconds to go here, so... Oh, pretty Jarrett, the little chip. It's going to sit coming through. Oh! Shoab! Shoab! Great chase from Shoab. Here we go, look at this, pretty Jarrett. We all doubted the kick, but great chase from Shoab. Yeah, so coming through, right. just wanted it more. Great try. Oh. To, to the orange shirt fellow now, to the yeah. white sitting in front of you. Can you grab him for me? Yeah. Tell him to come up here. No. The mate with the black shirt on. Black shirt. Actually, I'll, I'll get Bill. Bill, Bill, can you grab Swaney? Can you tell Swaney I want him? The bloke you're just talking to him. Yeah. 
Half time. 12-4 to uh, yeah. Mary Street Dental. <laughs> I'm going to con him in to come in and have a bit of a chat. Around. Come up around. Yeah, come around. Yeah, come on. You'll be right. <laughs> Bring him up. Bring him on. We'll get him on TV. We've got to find We might get a few more views like with him on here. Hit that light switch now. Yeah, the mic man. I can be the mic man. Just make sure he finds the right door for me. Just open her up. You there, Matt Foley? We, can we get the um, GoPro one? Look at the big camera. Yeah. Look at it. So I'm hiding Matt, further and further this way. Matt Foley. Tech guys, we need the uh, the GoPro going. Have a seat, Get Scotty. Out, Have a seat, mate. <laughs> There we go, thanks. You're, you're, you're right on, okay? Hold them, mate. Let him hold Yeah, have a hold, mate. Scotty, Fill your boots. How you going, buddy? Don't worry about the puzzle. Yeah, That's not too right. bad, thanks, Mick. Guys. <laughs> you wouldn't have seen Scotty Bone for a few years? No, nah, no, nah, I know Scotty, okay. though. Good yeah, to see you again, mate. It's, um, shaking hands on TV. Oh, yeah, man. you've got to get that. Oh. <laughs> uh, got to get, mate, get, the, hand, yeah. get the hand yeah, sanitizer. Yeah, 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 mate, um, <laughs> tell, tell us about your young fella. Young, now, we want to know if we're pronouncing yeah. his name right for a start. Oh, mate, it's, uh, it's a difficult one, but um, just Shoab. We call Shulb, him Shoab. Like, as in S-H-O-A-B, but it's spelled S-H-U-A-I-B. But Shoab, mate, Anything, mate, I'll call him a lot of other names than that, though. <laughs> don't worry about that. Depending on the day. <laughs> Not getting too personal, but we will. Where'd the, where'd the name come from? Um, oh, my wife chose it um, oh, years ago. Uh, well, obviously, 18 years ago. <laughs> um, he's actually my stepson, so I, I took him over when he was around two. So, um, yeah, my wife's first... Um, de facto relationship ended up with uh, the young fella and that didn't end real well so he doesn't know his dad and I've been his dad yeah for 16 years so yeah, hats off to you mate he calls your dad? Yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate, um, hats off to you mate That's what, what are you doing with yourself these days I mean, you're, you're um yeah I, me I, I'm st uh, still a policeman um I'm having a bit of time out at the moment um but yeah, I'm trying to get myself uh, up and running again. Um, you're looking fit, so you're yeah. obviously doing something. Yeah, I was going to coach Urella this year and um, hopefully play a bit of a uh, bit of league with the young fella. But um, as we all know, and the credit to you guys having this, it just uh, brings it all back, and you're just biting at the bit now. And then it's the end of the season, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to next year, and um, and hopefully we can we can get a normal season happening and. Get back into the league side of things. A lot of our listeners, because we got a lot of them, um, probably wouldn't know that you played in Group Four for a while at West at West Tamworth, and yeah. I think were you one of the early people at Dungown? Were you the first? Yeah, yeah I was the first yeah. first to uh, start it up there with the help with a lot of other people. Um, but yeah, we we had a successful year that year. We made the GF and got beat by a tingle, and and uh, Dungown still stands as the. Uh, is how we we started right back in 2000 so and it's a credit to everyone involved there and i still get a little tingle when i hear about the old cowboys and um yeah i went to Farrer obviously and then went away for a while up the gold coast playing footy and come back to west and then played in the grand final with yourself against maureen i don't want to go any further than that <laughs> uh, that, was, uh, that was a bad year that one yeah it was <laughs> But, uh, so you enjoying the Nines concept? Oh, for sure. I've been watching it live stream um, from the start. And, uh, yeah, you blokes are doing a fantastic job. And there's uh, quality footballers out there. And, and there's no runaway teams. Um, you know, the side that uh, hasn't won a game yet, they've just, they've just been unlucky. Of, uh, yeah, we weren't just saying in the middle of the last game, how unlucky we were. Mate, shift up to the bench because I'm going to yeah. ask you to stay on for the rest of the half. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> Get involved. I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure one of the boys will have some questions for you. I was just going to say, mate, the young bug, show up. So he's played a bit of foot. Where's he been? At school in Sydney, has he? Is that yeah, he's been at St. Ignatius Riverview since yeah. year seven. Yep. Uh, oh, he got yeah. a scholarship there. Yep. And, yeah, he's played rugby. Good rugby school. But when he was young, um, he'd go and play for North uh, Sydney Ride yeah, okay, and yeah. um, just play rugby and then jump on a bus and go play league. <laughs> yeah. He can't get it out days, of his... You played a few different sports. Yeah. Yeah. And there's Before. a lot. There's a, a few kids that do that because they play a lot of that on Sunday to, in yeah. that sort of comp, don't they, that, the junior league, right. so that, yeah, that they can that, fit in with the rugby school. Yeah, and, and he's, sh he's, shone, he's shone playing rugby because of his defence. Yeah. 
young, uh, young Liam Moore come and seen a little bit down the street. Mate, we're going to throw to you for a second. Have a crack at the commentary. We want to hear your word. Oh, I don't yeah. know their names, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, there's two of us up here that don't know their names, <laughs> mate. <laughs> You're old not mate. alone. Old mate past old mate. And yeah. Past <laughs> to that fella. Well, they're throwing it wide here. They've got a... Um, Shalb's just missed a tackle. Uh, he, he won't miss it again, but he's got him, and I think that's gone forward. But no, it's uh, play on. Uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. They're in trouble or you're in trouble? <laughs> he's going to be in trouble for missing that tackle when he got him. So. Yeah, they had a big charge up front there. Yeah, and, uh, Kobe Barr. Kobe and, uh, was, was, had a try with the, uh, the Bulldogs. Yeah, well, uh, that was a good charge forward, and that's a uh, smart Ooh, work out of Dummy Pascoe. Golden try post. too. Pascoe, he, he'll let me know about that try later. Yeah. Golden try. We'll, we'll see if we get he'll ask you if you uh, put the replay up for it. Yeah. Talk us through the replay, Swaney, <laughs> if I've done it right. Maybe I didn't do it right. Red button, white button. It's pretty good technology we got there. Uh -huh. We could yeah. use it. Yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with the technology. It's the, it's the <laughs> operators. I was going to say, I think it might be the operators. <laughs> you like that? I put an S on there too for you, Mick. You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, you haven't touched the button yet. Yeah. I was just saying, I was um, to Mick earlier, I was sitting in, uh, Craig Power was sitting in this chair uh, last week when I was watching it, and I was, went fishing with him this week. He, he, him and Jared jumped on my boat, and we went down to Coffs Harbour, and had a couple of nights away, it was good. How'd you go? Looks yeah, we got a feed. Got a feed? Yeah. Got camera there, you got your coach. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, um, I, was, I was texting Craig this morning, he said he had to go to Sydney for a uh, suppliers meeting, and now you're telling me he's fishing. Suppliers fish. meeting. He was <laughs> fishing. Thank you, here. Good uh, place yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, way too much. Oh, he's, uh, that, yeah, yeah. Is that, that Doro, they call him? Yeah, yeah. He's, got, he's got some toe. He, he done a good tackle here in the first half, but he yeah. just got around him that time. Yeah. Yeah. So, Deacon Sankey there. You got a bit of pace, Deacon. Deacon he is. Has, mate, yeah. He's aimed up tonight. Here we go. Oh, you, you look good for the uh, by the door the outside yeah. backs next to you, Michael. Yeah, that's if he hangs around. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's going to head back up to. I think is it Redcliffe? Yeah, okay. Um, no, East East uh, Tigers or something like that. He's over in Canada, is he, Deacon? Yeah, he's yeah. Deacon. Deacon. Uh, young, um, uh, not Blair. Um, uh, Mark Sankey, Mark Sankey is his father. Yeah. He's thinking of Blair Sankey. Yeah. Long way back That's his uncle. uncle. You'd know Blair, Shaney, wouldn't you? Yeah. Who? Blair Sankey? No. no. Actually, a bit before your time. I was just putting you in age, older age bracket than what you actually are. Yeah. Sorry, brother. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him. So, but, uh, just a little bit on Mitch Doring, you might not know. He was um, yeah. in a country under 18s, 5'8", a few years ago. Yeah, right. He was up in uh, in Queensland for a good stint. Nathan Vasey, another good, good run of light. What Nathan's done tonight? Good. Oh, oh boy! Ball picked it up, but didn't. Um, but then uh, decided to come home to have a family. So he, he was up in the. Mate, he's uh, yeah, he's a good grab for Group yeah. Four by the look of it. That's for sure. He's very good on his feet. Well, he's been yeah. part of our twenty threes the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, I think he'll be too old next year. Too old now. So, but um, yeah, can he play a bit of footy. Jack runs me down the short side. Young Ryan Ingram, we mentioned it earlier, loves that short side, right? Eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Ringer there, That's sorry. Right. Trent Taylor, good dummy oh. to Kieran Williams. More right. steps. Next it's door been himself. a very good effort for the dental side with two on the bench all night. Yeah. Um, yeah. They'll know they've played a game <laughs> tomorrow, the boys. Uh, the will be one game, Matty Wilson. Oh. Back to Kieran. Kieran. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, oh, oh. oh. Just about to say good pick up by. Little ringer, but uh, couldn't quite get there. We've got 11 points to 16 with Mary Street leading with just over three minutes to go. So, um, without stating the obvious, that's anybody's game. Um, For sure. But it uh, looks like we're going to make a bit of a trade. Body like Millgate. Oh, oh shot, shot, shot there. there. Yeah. Big Mitchie <laughs> Denny. <laughs> he picked the <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Didn't pick the right one to do that to. Uh, Zachy Leonard. A very, very He's hard man to tackle, Zachy. Very strong. Long ball Good. here. Kobe oh, got ball. Jimmy Pascoe. More steps than oh. the Eiffel Tower. I used that last week with Jimmy Pascoe. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> oh, Kieran, uh, Kieran Williams has been interchanged with Lockie McGrady. That's a good no, ball. They're, they're getting themselves mixed up. Here. Ooh. 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 Hang on. Let's see. Let's We're see. in the box seat here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'm not complaining. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a look at it here. We'll get a look at it here. 
Ah, it's definitely good. That's yeah, it's definitely going back out of the hands. Backwards for sure. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, Matty Wilson in the well, we it. Yeah. Jack, Jack Rumpy poked run. his nose for a good run there, 40 metres out from the uh, JT Fossey line. Don't give away a penalty. It's only four tackles. There he goes, talk him through. Yeah, that is, that's where I'll play him eventually, is um, in that dummy half roll. Yeah. Um, well, he earned his team a penalty there. Yeah. What's his uh, What's his preferred position? P uh, position well, sorry. he plays breakaway in rugby. Yeah, plays breakaway in rugby. Yeah, um, I, I didn't want it. He hasn't got an off switch, so I was going to blood him at fullback this year yeah. in, for Urella. Um But then put him in uh, dummy half towards the end of the game yeah. with the tied legs. Oh, nice shot over the top there by Zachy Leonard. Yeah. Um, Matty Wilson here controlling the game. Oh, here we go. Should, here. Oh, I think Matty probably should have put his head down. Well, they're going to get over it. Is that uh, young Wilbur, is it? Yeah. Young Will Gerard. Yeah, Will Gerard. Yeah, we Braid. played plenty of footy with him as well. Young yeah, Brado, Brado, that's his youngest. Yeah. yeah it's, um, oh, dead spitting image of him, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's real, aren't it? uh, it's, uh, His other young fella, Jamali, um, the number four for the Kerry's front. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah you can right. See who, you can uh, see who's the bully at the dinner table. Yeah, there. wow. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Um, both Ken Motor. Um, yeah, Ken. Brado is very, very light on his feet. Um, yeah. But yeah, good try by Brado. Well, they, they, the, they got the jeans. Yeah. This, have a converted one. I've, uh, I've said Street. many a times, Willie Gerard was one of the, the best support players that I'd played with. Um, yeah. And one of the best at giving lip and rivaling up the opposition. <laughs> the only problem is most of the time you couldn't understand him. Because he, was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't changed. I remember saying to Willie in one game, when he, we, I think it might have been Maury, he riled him up and I said, Willie, you're at fullback, stop it. We're getting hurt up here at the front. <laughs> oh, that one's fine. Oh, yeah, one. He will call that one. Didn't even need Happy to let the ref call that one forward. Matt Gillum's not happy with the... I don't know, was it Matt Gillum or... I think it was doing. There we go. Mario Street got up. That's probably an unexpected win with what the troops are missing. Especially yeah. second game of the night too. Yeah. Well, that's second game for both. No, 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 well obviously we're having two two subs. Catches oh, up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think they just beat them in the first round too, didn't yeah. they? Uh, was, just got yeah. just got over them. Yeah, so uh, that's the end of the night for those two sides. So a good exciting game. Um Mario Street will Probably stay in second place after that now, um, and that'll be all important, I guess, when the semi-finals are on. Still undecided how so that's going to yeah, work. Is there any inkling of how they're yeah, I'm not sure looking how to do it? Whether they've decided, I think they were yeah. looking at one play four and two play three, and the two winners, and play. then the two winners play. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I think they're thinking. No, I think maybe they're actually like thinking of one play two and three play four. Winner goes through. Okay. okay. And then the uh, the loser of one and two will play the winner of three and four. And four is just the, the loser of three and four just don't get another game. They, they're out for the night. Yeah. Okay. I think, I don't know. Oh, right. Time will tell. Yeah, yeah. Watch this space. Me, me. <laughs> I'm just going to I'd go one, 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 one V4 and two yeah. V3 of the winner's play and for they the get winner. The, get the two games yeah. of the night too. And they, and they, well, they get three games. Mm. And they have a few games yeah. tonight because then the, the two losers will play for I third think, and fourth. Yeah. Awesome. I've got no idea. Yeah, but that's that's for the entertainment. Sorry, that entertainment. That's not their decision. That'll be for the Group 4 board to come up with and um, have a chat. But how, how, have you, how have you enjoyed your, your commentary? Oh, yeah, it's been um, the yeah, awesome. Now we're going to get, yeah, we'll get you to announce the man of the matches for us. Do you remember Scott Swain? Yeah, remember yeah, Scott Swain? Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's only just realised it too. <laughs> 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 he's lifted his eyes. Yeah. He's had a look. So he's just moved the glasses up a bit. Yeah. See you, huh? yeah. There you go. Announce that for us. Uh, who was it? <laughs> he said him quick. Deacon Sankey. Um, Ryan Ingram. Ryan Ingram and Mitch Doran. Well, there Mitch you Doran. go. You've said it. You're right there. Yeah. <laughs> Heard it from the main man. The main so. man. Heard it from the fox. <laughs> the fox. <laughs> so so thanks, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> hopefully we'll get um, Kirby Bone and Liam Ball up here to have a chat to them about their uh, about their um, their experience, their trial that they had with the Bulldogs. But, mate, thanks for being here. No, well, thank I you. Much appreciate it for, we'll see you in a I, fortnight. I know you're a little bit... Um, Hesitant to come up and yeah. thought we're kidding and we'll get me up here, but no, it's good to, to, to catch up with you. We won't, we'll do yeah. the fist. <laughs> um, good, to, good to see you looking fit, staying shape. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, guys, yeah. Hopefully, just remember when you know, age is only a number when you retire. 
Yeah, that's right, mate. I'll keep going. Those anti-inflammatories are pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah. mate. So now, how old do you turn next year? Because you're going to uh, play. I'm 46 next 46 year. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. mate, all the best with, with yeah. the footy, um, with your Allah and. Hopefully you'll get a run, because it'll be the first time you get a run with a young fella. Yeah, hopefully, mate. I've had a game of rugby with him. Yeah, okay. which yeah, was, that, uh, that doesn't count. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't count. really. <laughs> Not quite the same. <laughs> he made me feel very old even doing that. Uh, so. Yeah. Mate, so all the best with that, and much appreciated you come yeah. up and give us your time. Yeah, so. Thank you, Mick. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, thanks, Scotty. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Well, hopefully, <laughs> mate. Um, well, here they come now, the young fellas. That's good. Thank Cheers, you, mate. mate. We, um, we'll just keep talking about that game while these two young fellas... Just come through that door down that end. I try not to mention that they just lost that game. Yeah. You're not coming in? No, no, I'm taking oh, it. So we just uh, we got Liam Ball and um, Kobe Bone coming in. Um, Dan Kelly's not here tonight, Bone, unfortunately. No, but um, these two guys were part of our Greater Northern um, Tigers. Side and um, just get rid of that chair so that um, they can stand up. Just let them hold the mic. Hey boys, come on in. All right. Hi mate. Hi mate. Jump, jump into there, boy. You won't need the chair bones. Come over. Come and stand. Come up here. Oh, we want to get you on camera. He's a bit tired. Got to get the young pups. We, uh, you're there, Matt Foley? The future stars. Go, come over close. There we go. We're on. Come in, night. Come in tight, come boys. In tight, boys. We're on that one there. You're very professional. Um, Do you just want to hold the mic? You want yeah. Brent to hold it for yeah, you? Yeah, I'll hold it. All right. <laughs> boys, um, <laughs> for, firstly, a couple of kids from under 18s last year. Um, I know nines is a little bit different. How are you enjoying playing against grown men? Well, it's different. Oh, it's different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely harder. A lot more physical. A lot more yeah. physical. Yeah, he's physical. It's good, but a bit yeah. more fun. Yeah, yeah. I know he's a little bit under the breath, so we sort of got his a bit under the pump. Yeah. But um, we've got you up because you had a, a, a run with the Bulldogs um, last weekend. Yeah. That, that's why he's running. How'd that, how'd that go for you? Now put that mic near your mouth. Happy shot. Sure. Um, oh, I reckon it was good. It was a good experience. It was good to get down there and... First up against some top talented kids. Like you like it. it is good down here, but it was good to burst some harder blokes. Yeah, down in Sydney, it's a lot tougher down there. But um, yeah, I reckon it was a great experience. Yeah, how, how do you guys think you went personally? Oh, well, I think I went alright. Just a bit lack of fitness <laughs> during the off season. I haven't really been doing a lot of training, fitness wise. But oh, I went alright. It's alright. Bigger blokes, so harder to tackle. Get you more fatigue. But yeah, I think. We went all right, all four of us, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was pretty happy with uh, how I played myself. I thought I was pretty good, even though I've had no game. Well, we've had all, and we've had two games all yeah, up this whole year. Yeah. And of course, but, yeah, as you said, boys, obviously uh, with COVID, um, you guys, uh, the North Side 18 side, was playing in the Newcastle competition. But then when they uh, they brought in some new things where they didn't want to travel over distances, you had to go out of the competition. So um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Obviously, obviously made it difficult. And, well, and they, as yeah. I said, sort of not a lot of training between now and then. So mm, well, would have we been were going all right, but then ended up swapping us out of the um, <laughs> comp that we were playing in. But put us up a grade and then we weren't allowed in that and then we weren't allowed back in the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I think he's went up a grade because you're probably just a step up from Yeah. You know. That's no, also no, no disrespect to the competition you, no. you you were in. I think that yeah. that comp was a little bit more social to what you yeah, guys was. from yeah. from my understanding. But did you just get the trial in the positions you just wanted to? I know yeah, you, yeah. you like lock and you like hooker, did you just get those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was good. We all started on the same team too, so oh, that's had each other around, yeah, knew each other. Yeah, yeah. I think that's also why they're a bit fitter. They've been playing all year too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. up in Sydney. So C compare it to your, your Greater Northern side, yeah. um, where we played at that higher level, was it much difference to that? Oh, uh, it was a bit more higher level, just a bit less communication because we hadn't played with anyone before. But physicality was probably a, a bit, bit more because yeah, yeah. yeah. it was with the twenties too, so. Not have been the only thing. Is, is it thing? Is it is a competition standard that you you guys think you could compete at every week, week in week out? Oh, that, that yeah, 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 yeah. Training, yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. So when the, when do you just find out? Sorry, Bones. Yeah. Oh. Well, they announced the team over. Oh, they announced the team last night with most boys on the list. But they said that you were either going to get an email whether you did or not. So still haven't got that email. Hopefully here, either on Monday if not sometime during next week. Yeah. So boys, obviously, Borley, uh, HSC, starting what, next week? 
Yeah. How's that going, Studdy? Oh, yeah. Starting hard, too. <laughs> I think I uh, ran into you the other yeah, week. You I said did, you're flat yeah, out flat in the books. Yeah. <laughs> I actually took my hat off to you. I was impressed how much you said you're studying. No, nah, I was joking. <laughs> I don't know if I'd believe about that. Yeah, no. And, Cade, uh, and what, you, what, nearly first year finished now, your apprenticeship? Yeah, you, I think you, I've got about two months left and I'm coming in second year. In the second apprentice. year, and how's that going, mate? You enjoying, yeah, enjoying the of, building? Uh, I wasn't... I didn't really like school that much, so <laughs> being out there building and not sitting in the classroom is a lot better for me, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's good. So what's um, so what uh, for yourself, Paulie? What's plans next year at the moment? Not, not oh, sure. we'll start working with Dad for a bit and see where it goes. I was going to say, yeah. mate, get the Dad back on. The, yeah, get Dad back on. It. Get him back on the shovel and you yeah. can sit in the car. Yeah, exactly. Give orders. The orders. <laughs> yeah. uh, for, for those that don't know, Steve Ball sponsors the the co. Um, sorry, your water bottles. For water, the, water bottles. Yeah, water bottles. Young Liam. So yeah. th- thanks to you and your old man. Yeah. Uh, That's all right. I wouldn't say thanks to me, maybe, maybe, maybe Mr. Ball. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ball. Yeah. Mr. Ball. Um, just on your footy, guys, if, you, if this doesn't come through with the, with the Bulldogs, what's, what's in store for next year? I know I was talking to you, you know, Bone, last night. Uh, I've about. ended up picking up a trial for next Saturday with the Central Coast Roosters down there. So i just got to train a bit for that. So just you keep yourself prepared for that. Is that following Tommy to Queensland? Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, it's, uh, no, guys, um, uh, th- thanks for coming on. Uh, good luck yeah. in the future. Hopefully, we, we see you running around Group yeah. 4 footy. Yeah, but I do sincerely go, hope you, you, when you, you. When you come into the box, you get gifts. Eh? Like, gifts. A couple of beers, is it? Yeah. It's got no, your name just, written on it, it's, too. It's just your jumper. Roller finally decided to sort them out. So, yeah. you get them. <laughs> <laughs> huh? They're only sitting to you. They're only sitting behind you last night. You couldn't get. You couldn't tell you they were in the bag. So. Oh yeah. So good. Good luck with your yeah. with your rugby league careers and yeah, with cheers, the, thank you, you know the bulldogs and stuff like that. Appreciate um, it. Hopefully, if if that doesn't work out, you'll find a first grade club around here somewhere. I'm sure that'll take yeah, you yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. The mighty bears. And Mighty uh, Bears, give them a plug. <laughs> and um, mate, good, good luck in the rest of the nines. There's no no nines next weekend. No, nah, um, nah, And then the follow, right. following weekend, we're, we're back for semi finals, I do believe. So yeah. thanks for coming on. And again, good luck and um, yep. stay safe. Thank you. Cheers for that. Um, boys, thanks, fellas. Boys. Look forward thanks to witnessing man. the journey. Yeah. See you later. Come, boy. Good, good job, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers. No Cheers. earrings. Cheers, mate. Earrings. <laughs> 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 okay, last game of the night. Um, so yeah, it's good to hear from the young fellows. Yeah, yeah um, good to hear the enthusiasm from them. Yeah, Not just you know, club level yeah. rep as well. Uh, look, it, it's it's great that they, they're getting these opportunities with the Sydney clubs. Um, more, yeah. more notably, probably our. Our, our club that we've got that, that marriage yeah, with now, that's it. but it's good to see that Kobe's getting another opportunity with the Roosters. Roosters, yeah. Um, he, he, I was only saying to him last night when he was down running water for me that, yeah, unfortunately, Kobe was probably born in the wrong era because he's a tough kid. <laughs> yeah. He's a, and he plays tough. Um, he, he's kind. He's the, the kid that will probably go somewhere because of his work ethic and his attitude. But he's got some genuine toughness. Yeah, and obviously, look, an opportunity. Um, um, for those competitions in uh, in Sydney, the Harold Matson and SG Ball Comp, they've changed age groups next year. So um, the SG Ball, instead of being under 18, will be under 19. So under those, 19. Those, those boys will be of that right oh, age. That, so, that'd, yeah. be, that'd be so great. That's, that's why there's a little bit of an opportunity there for a couple of the boys as well. So, but I like their honesty in the, in the interview, Bones, when they were talking about, here we go, oh, Marcus, missed an opportunity oh. there. I like their, op- you know, their, their honesty in that interview where they identified that the competition that they've just trialled in was just that little bit tougher. Yeah, a little yeah. Because, you know, you know what young fellas, oh, no, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. like, we'd, we'd kill it, you know, blah, blah, blah. But they they're weren't. They, were, yeah. they were honest with it. And that's yeah. that's probably a testament yeah. to themselves, but their families, but to probably where they actually know where they're at with their rugby league. Exactly. Yeah. Brent's um, just away, opened yeah. them right up. We've got the undefeated and the winless playing each other here, so... Um, not sure what this might end up. That's not a good start for Shay Brennan's. Um, Brent, oh. hit, hit the replay button. Hit the replay. I, I think here I'm we too, go. I think I'm too late on it. Yeah, we got to be quick. We got to be straight away. Like the game show, like ready to go. Show. Family feud. Family feud. But um, so we got Carey's jump out. Beat the buzzer. Beat the buzzer. Carey's jump out. Oh. What's the score bones on the NRL? 4 0 to the Bunnies. 4 0 to the Bunnies. Ooh. Will it be deemed an upset yep. if the Bunnies win? Oh, mate. Could be. Oh, couple Ooh. missing. 
Who you got? Who you backing for the win, mate? Campbell. Oh, Graham. Yeah, well, I'd be saying that Penrith should probably win. What do you well, think? They've gone what, 16 they would, yeah. or 17 in a row without a loss. But I think, I think the, the thing with the bunnies and most of it, you know, if they get on a try scoring spree, they're hard to pull they out. Are. You know, they they're, are. They're hard to, to take that. that Never. Um, they've been in the last four, the last few years. They've been there. Good run, there Daniel, Jobson. Daniel Jobson. They came back to our West Entertainment Group 9. We'll give the sponsors a bit of a run in a minute. Thomas Brown, good run through here. Dylan Lake again found himself a dummy half, which is a step there great. from Brownie. I don't know if you do it a trip, a step or a trip on his own. Oh. That's um, that's two drop balls now by Shay Brennan's in the in the first three minutes. Braden Reed here, and Braden Reed's going to not quite make, but hurt. But you, you can't be making fundamental errors like that, Bone. No, no. You know, one here by Marky Haynes is 40 metres out, and one in an opportunity to score some points. Um, they, they've probably got their heads down a little bit, but they've, they've played their hearts out and just can't quite get over. They're getting over the line, but they just can't get over that wind line. It's just not sticking for them, yeah, you know, if, if you use that term, or that phrase. Yeah, that, um, yeah. Just caught, not quite there for them. Here's Britain again. Nice offload. <laughs> Losing a few headaches. Uh, Lockman Trindle. Good run. Ooh, yeah. Good tackle there, Marcus. That'll be, the, that'll be the third and last one. No one more. Sammy Taylor. Jacob Nichols. Last tackle here now. It's, um, I know we talked about the Moree boys travelling down to play, but I think uh, the Narraboy boys too. Yeah. You know, travelling a good a good two hour trip. Not one of Sam Taylor's better kicks. Is that uh, Bryce Daniels straight through the middle? Straight through. I, I think it's Bryce Daniels. I think uh, one player that would be good to have this week for them is uh, Big Matt Baker. He had a cracking game yeah, last week. Yeah. Uh, just, just to give Brownie a bit of a hurt. Mm. That, that, that extra man up in the middle. A little bit of a bubble there. Yeah. From, uh, I thought, but I'll go with it. Here we go, Jobbo. He only knows one way. There's no sideways running with that fella, yeah. right? He's, uh, Jake Ty here he's coming tough enough. Cody Tickle, we're going to go long here, Cody. Yes, yeah, here we go. Ball. Opportunity now. Oh. Still here. Oh. Stop there. Options there. Zach Turnbull. Oh, Zach Turnbull. Oh. He you needs to plenty of time. Zach Brady. Turnbull. Oh, oh, oh. He needs to be reminded. Take your time. Turn That's in there. <laughs> Here we go. Look at we've well, got the replay. Zach had Oh, just oh. down past the bend your back. And, and he had support back. on the inside in Bill Porter. That could have been a seven seven point. Seven that could have been a bonus. That could have been in the lead. Um, just take one more second. He had plenty of time. And unfortunately it didn't come off. Is that the Panthers in? Panthers in. We're trying not to get too excited. But um, here we go, Riley Mackay. Good run, Riley. Yes. Yeah. It was quick. Are we a Whoa. Oh. Oh. Huh? We just have it. We'll have a look at this little knock on here from Riley. I, d I don't think it was. Oh, well, yeah, there it is. There just it is. Bubble. Just a little bubble. Loving the replay when I get it right. Brycey Daniels. It's um, about 15 metres out. Did like it, dummy half. Good long good ball long out to Cody Tickle. Square they should up, score here. Yeah, they got numbers here. Marky oh, Haynes. Oh, oh, good catch. Um, it should be six to go. I think there was a hand on that. No? No? no. Okay. My eyes. Zimmy Sadler. Back to Code. Off to Jake Ty. Oh, oh. good step there. Oh, just caught in the corner. And uh, Riley and uh, Isaiah Fourth Adam. and last. Long boy by long Cody Tickle. Long ball. Bryce Daniels. Inside, Dell Lake. Oh. Great tackle. But the good thing, Brent right, 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 on, right the on the try line. line. Right Absolutely. on the try line. And only four tackles, so it's going to be tough to work out from there. But um, here we go. Lucky Trindle, is it? Lucky, yeah, yeah, Lucky Trindle. Good run in the end, 10 metres. Yeah, really good run. That's a good run. Here You're we go. Oh, oh, Sammy Sadler. <laughs> hey. Well done, Sammy Sadler. Good, uh, good run, deal. Another 10, 10 metre run. So two runs are out. They're out of trouble now, really, aren't they? Oh, good, oh, good little table. dummy there. Who was that? Through there, Braden Reed. Braden yeah. Reed. Oh, another dummy. Oh, oh, good passing. Oh, oh. oh. there's been a lot, a lot <laughs> of couple of errors. Balls. Looks like a little bit of, could be a bit of bit fatigue of kicking in there. Now he's got him offside. But some, right. there's two drop balls now that. They both could have scored a yeah. try off, and for Shay Brennan, was a, a, you know, a possible five pointer. Plath might have wanted to rest there. That's where he's at the penalty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's normally the go. And we've got young Paddy Lyon Kane uh, subbing with 
It's, uh, Jake Ty. Jake Ty. We got uh, Daniel Jobson taking a hit up there. Goes deal late. That's what you got to deal do. Look at that easy ten, nearly fifteen, nearly a twenty meter run by deal. It's uh, put the head down again. Marky Hain at dummy half. Cody. Early ball. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. Clay Frendon cleans it up. Nice clean up by Clay. Cody. Cody Tiggle seems to have found himself a little bit more at first receiver. Yeah. yeah. Um, Here comes Jobbo. Oh. 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 The best Sammy Sadler. from Narrabri on, the, on their team, mate. Yeah, Boys are having a go. Jockey Small. Good to see. Here you go. He's lined up again, Jockey. Oh. He wants Good to make to up for his last one. See that? That's state of origin stuff. Mate on mate. Club mate on club mate there. It was, uh, was good footy to good see. Tackle there from, yeah, I think he's got the Dylan Lake. Yeah, Sammy's I think we'll coming off Brent, now for a spell. Picked up the ball there. Well, Brent, Brent tried to, um, tried to pass. Like. And passed it straight to Dylan Lake. Good tackle there. On, really good uh, tackle there. On Dan Boland by... Here we go for Braden payback. Reed. Reed. A little bit of room here for Zachy Zach Turnbull. Turnbull. But, uh, that's Zachy's best footy, just under the arm and go. Good little bit of footy that there by the, the narrow boy boys nice. on each other. Cody yeah. Tickle here out of dummy half. Oh. Oh. Wrapped him up well in good the legs. tackle there from uh, Riley McCoy. Marky, uh, Marky, Hain, that's, Marky Hain. That's a good little kick. Oh, oh that's a knock on. They're in Good great pressure. position here. 50 this seconds. 50 seconds. I need to roll. Quick play. Just give away the penalty. Oh, gonna, oh come on, sir. Let him play. I think they might have went the wrong Zachy way. Turnbull. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's thrown in the intercept. They, uh, they went the wrong way there, I feel. I think you they, could be right there. I think they probably needed to spin the ball he the other way. Turned. Another good solid tackle there, Zachy Turnbull. He wasn't going to take that uh, 100 metres there, Sam Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> went straight to ground. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think Sam Taylor's a few years away from 90 metre intercepts. <laughs> Back in his day, he might have taken it. Good shift. Oh, oh. let's see. Got the last 10 seconds here, Isaiah Adams. You'd, you'd nearly think that's going to. Oh! The well, only good thing about that is Brent, uh, no, it's not say Brent Cochran's going to find himself a dummy half, but. Uh, I don't think Brent will be overly happy that the ball then didn't come back to the inside yeah. to him. 4 0. Might, might see it on the. Uh, I'm not going to see it. And it's Terry Straight Lines 4, leading Jay Brent Construction 0. 4 0. 4 0. Interesting when, when both sides have bombed a try each. Try each. Um, it's only fitting to have one each. It's probably be cool, but I'm going to say they probably just missed one there with Isaiah not passing back inside yeah. to Brent. Yeah. But um, two tries went begging with drop balls, yeah, and one yeah. could have been a, a five point of the shades. Yeah. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm being nasty to, to carries, but geez, wouldn't it be fitting for Shea Brennan yeah. to the, the, the winless team to beat the undefeated side? Undefeated side. Um, wouldn't that'd be just yeah. the rugby league guys would be singing down yeah. to it, um, the underdog story? It's, uh, it's look, it's, it's possible. Yeah. Um, Shea Brennan's have done plenty. In this game, to suggest that they can pull off the win. I'll like give it a, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, we'll just Again, get as we said, mate. Just those, those little, uh, just those, you know, drop ball here and drop ball there, and it's been costly for him. So. Yeah. But, like I said, you know, poor, poor Zaki Terminal. If he had that yeah. time again, there was nobody there. Bar Marcus. Uh, sorry, Dylan Porter. So there was the two Shay mm. Shay Brennan yeah. side players. And maybe a bit of communication. Yeah. Um, you, know, you, you don't always have to pick the ball, run and fly out. No. Yeah. But, it's probably the hardest thing to do is to do, pick it up, it up and at, at full air. You've got to slow down for those ones. Take your time. For those that are probably watching us rather than the NRL, it's six all. Choosing their priorities. Group four. Probably dual screen they've got up. Yeah. Have we got the dual screen? Yeah. <laughs> Just not a good look. <laughs> 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 uh, we'll just have a bit of a break, Matty, and get these headsets off for a sec, brother.
Replay, good this. Replay. Oh. <laughs> just, just outside, in front, <laughs> just in front. <laughs> just a that step. was a good tough, pick up. Tough yeah, if, Bra- yeah. if Brownie missed that good, one, that would have been tough one. good pick yeah. up from Brownie. So yeah. He only just got over the line. Tough penalty, I reckon. <laughs> tough, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, Brownie. But um, GGB Lear match. Good stepping, Liam. He's. Uh, He's another young, young fella, young, tough character. Yeah. Um, young Liam. He, he hasn't got too many sidesteps in his game. He knows one way, and that's straight. Here we go, Brent. Brent. Oh, oh, nice. nice little ball. He, he did well Nathaniel there, Brent. Slater. Good tackle. Oh, no, nearly a good on. tackle. Nathaniel Slater. He worked hard him. Oh, still going. Oh. Popped out. Oh, no, he's caught hell. Thinking, what's happened there? Yeah, but no, the referee's caught hell. A lot of the defenders third. in around he, the ball he here. Good release from that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Long ball here. They've got numbers here if they can. Uh, Paddy Lyons oh, came. Good tackle. Play friend down there. Oh. It's, um, I, I think after this game, if they get the win, um, Captain Coach Brent Cochran won't be happy. They've mm. probably been. Uh, Carries. Oh, if you go compared to their last first two nights, I know what yeah. you mean. He's Dan Boland. He's um. Oh, good shot. He's up. one fella that you wouldn't want to be chasing in some open paddock. He's a uh, very very quick young Dan. Take a turn. Good step to get inside Jamali Gerard there. Good tackle by Liam Hatch. Uh, good dominating tackle. Mikey Hain. Mikey Hain turns under to Cody Tickle. Is it? Uh, yeah, Miley Gerard's getting some work in defensively. Good kick by Dillard. Yeah, Lowe. great kick. Bit of space. Gonna sit. He will sit up. Beautifully. Great kick. a great kick. You don't have a straight line on Braden Reed, he'll make you hurt. Oh, Jobbo got Jobbo. him. Brownie signalled on the shoulders. Stuck that arm out. Here we go. Oh, that was a bit too easy. Yeah. Forward pass inside. Ooh. He's there, yeah, Braden good, Reed. Good try again yeah. by Braden. That's a good effort. Cause it's a shame field. because uh, it was a good kick by Dill Lay. Yeah. Mm. They yeah. looked like they had him there. <laughs> Marky Hayne probably needed to go low there. But, uh, just got fended off. But, um, he scored a couple of good tries. He's kind of all Braden Reed. I think on game night he probably scored the try of the night, mm. at least. Um, probably still try of the carnival. And that one there was... That's what he's capable play. of, mate. Yeah. yeah so. He's, he's got there. footy in him, mate. He's got very yeah. good feet. Well, I know, know so. there's, there's some people around the area ask different questions of him in, in regards to you know, his, his toughness because he's not a big oh. kid. It's sure. But, um, yeah, the, the kid's got footy. Yeah, yeah. Has, mate. You know, he's, he's plenty tough enough. Well, the kid will be getting ready to sit his HSC. Got a, it, it's good to see the 18 year old kids put their hand up to overrun at this. Yeah. Because um, they are playing against grown men, some yeah, seasoned right. campaigners out yeah. there. When, when you look at you've got you know, 17, 18 year old Matty, but um, you know, Braden Reed's running against Matty Bakers, who's been around. Yeah, yeah, you know, Brent Cochran's been around. Yeah. Um, so it's good to see that the, the kids and nominated. Been, yeah. And they haven't taken a step back no, either. No. They're the ones. Here we go. We've got uh, Shay Brennan's on the attack now, 40 metres out. Thomas Brown. Good tackle. Underneath. Let's get a let's get a super trial here, eh? Super trial make it interesting. Eh? Get it back to eight seven. It's, um, that's what the fans want. Go, Brownie Hutton. Oh. oh, knocked out. Knock on. Let's come on, oh, sir. Come on, come on. We might, we might see if we can get a replay on that one. Yeah, I'm with you. I think it's a knock on. 
hit out if by not the a contact. penalty for deliberately. We've we got it here. Look at this, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think deliberately played at the ball should have been a penalty or six to go, four to go. Unfortunately, we're not refereeing. Well, fortunately, young uh, jockey Small is it? Yeah, he's going to get the offload away to Brenton. Brenton. Trouble here. Oh. oh. He's Step ahead of him there, Brenton. Yeah, look, he, he, he could. He, he could tell that he was getting himself in trouble yeah. in behind and, and still had the presence of mind to pass back inside. Just an, unlucky. A shame that Isaiah Adams wasn't quite on the uh, Brownie again. Players. Great to see him back playing footy. Yeah. Thomas Brown, as we said before, mate. He had uh, a pretty a, serious what, injury. Injury, yeah. So. And, uh, here we go. Some opportunity. You get it out to Margie. Oh, Dylan Porter. What's oh, shit. Oh. Oh. What? We've got to click that button. <laughs> Why, why, sure why would you make kick. such a simple try so difficult? No need for the kick, no need for the flick. No need for the kick, he had a player inside him up. Uh, he's had forward pass. Yeah, yeah. But, um, he uh, did. I think Dill would like that time again. He, he, Two he, on uh, one. Back inside to Bryce, and Bryce he scores the bonus. But anyway, that's good. Now, big day, man. He's, um... Strip. He's going to be six, six to go. again. Brenton, Paul. dangerous here. Good tackle so there from Dylan Lake. Dylan Lake, yeah. So anything could happen if Brenton's got a bit of open paddle like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan Bateman. Dylan Dill, Dill Lake there was going to be a little bit uh, sheepish and play dummy R for him then. I think he was being a bit of a fox. Well, good tackle. Big, uh, who's that? Big Brown. Brown. Head in nice and tight. Sammy Taylor out the back. Oh, oh there we go again. And, and bugging him off this time. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's hurt. Zachy Turnbull. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got wobbly feet, Zachy. They need to oh. pull the game, pull the game. It's a uh, good work there from referee Stephen Plefford. Just we're gonna get a, getting to him. Oh, play friend under the post there. The post seven point try. Um, Super try. Stevie Plefford. Yeah, to his credit, was uh, well done. Forgot about footy and concentrated on the uh, Mr. concentrated on the injured player, Zachy Turnbull. Hope Zach's all right. Um, yeah. He needs to be coming off. Um, Play friend and coming yeah. off after the try. We've got Hopefully, uh, Dave Parsons is with Zachy Turnbull at the moment, um, assessing, but he probably needs to come off. He was clearly not good. There we go, there's the wave. Did he miss that? Yes. No, in front. I oh, only got a minute and a half to go. Again, I feel for Shea Brennan's because they haven't been too far off the pace, no, have they? No. They're like, again, you know, I'll go, I don't want to be harsh on Zaki because he's just got himself injured and he's coming off, but, you know, that, that missed opportunity in the first half. Yeah. Could, oh, you know, would have been another a, one a minute ago, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, you know, they've had two sure, missed opportunities. Pushed back inside. And yeah. Cody oh, Tickle. Nice little uh, big deal, Bateman. I don't know if he would have taken in the and gone the distance. Big deal, but first on deal, like, yeah. Respectfully, he's, he's not the smallest man out there, but he's he's done well in and the noise, hasn't he? Really well like, it, he? He hasn't been out of place out there. He's done his job. No. He's been very good. Sammy Sadler. Nice ball. Dan Bowling. Dan Bowling. He'll get him oh. for a bonus. There we go. Bonus uh, try. There's going to be too little, too late. Tight on the time. No, we're into the final minute, so they won't have time for it. But good to see they finally got over the line. Yeah. But you know, yeah. so. I guess it'll be a game that they'll look back at and, and rue some missed opportunities. Yeah. Two, two certain ones. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and Kerry's missed one that we know Kerry, of. But, yeah. Um, you know, Shea Brennan's certainly oh. missed. Certainly, oh, he's, he's on the ten metre line. That's why wingers don't take shots oh. at goal. Um, That's one of the. We're probably not going to get to the kick off. Carries will just take that time there. Be a bit of uh, goal kicking practice during the oh, week. Yeah. It's Four, amazing how many people can't drop practice. Kick. Yeah, yeah can't, can't drop kick. Yeah. Look again, Shays. Are, I think they've been a better side in this game. Yeah, they've played well. I know, I know they've lost, but I think they've probably been the better team. And Sammy, quick. Nice, Douglas. Give it, give it. Give it, throw it, throw it, toss it, throw it. Oh, oh. Nice. Nathan might think he keeps the ball when the siren goes. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, look, a good game of footy in the end. Yeah. Um, a few errors from both sides. I don't know if it's 
to do with the, the ball being a bit slippery with the, the humid conditions we have here in Tenworth. Tonight it's a little bit warmer than it normally is. Eight points from first to fourth. Goes to show testament to the uh, quality of the footy. Yeah, yeah good point. Be, uh, interesting, the 3-2-1 uh, in that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, oh, I think... Yeah, Very interesting, know. actually. Uh, Braden Reid might be the... Yeah, uh, Braden, Braden Reid. Brent was good again, but... Yeah, uh, good. Um, Can't sure. give it to him every time. I know. I'm sure it'll be one of the three. <laughs> <laughs> Just not sure which one. <laughs> yeah, he'll be in there somewhere. Yeah. Well, Jockey Small was that good. Be, that might be like the old days, you know, clubs would give you 3 2 1. The same bloke get it every week, they get that extra cash. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know one club where the captain coach gave himself, and it wasn't me before you say that. <laughs> he used to give He's getting to in early there. The players play every week, so he got the mark. Yeah. And sometimes he didn't even play. Um, that's, uh, I, think there was one, I think there was one time that he got players player, and they worked out that he didn't get on the paddock, even though he's on the bench, and he got players player, and that's when they worked out something wasn't right. Just, just want to get a few beers for go. the night. Here we go with the great ghost. The moment of time. Okay, Clay Friendland Clay Friendland was uh, man of the match in that one. Uh, Braden Reed uh, was one of Bones' picks. And uh, there you say. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Clay Friendon. <laughs> Someone else. Uh, I, I can't remember I'm sure we'll read, read it on the Group 4 Facebook yeah, it'll page. It'll be on the Group 4. It'll be all updated there. Leave, it'll be suspense for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, Clay Friendon, I should tell his mother yeah. that uh, he won that bottle, Mark. Make sure that he passes it over for this week. <laughs> He's not on Thursday's the, coming up, so we'll, I'm sure uh, it'll come in handy. We'll be quick with our breakdown so you can get to the NRL. Um, just remember, everyone, there, there is no footy, no nines next week. It, it's um, a weekend off because of the NRL Grand Final, and no. understand, <laughs> you, know, you, you probably want to have it off. And soccer's on, mate. Soccer's on. <laughs> um, Apparently, Northern, is, Nor we don't want we don't to plug other sports, but the Northern Inland Premier League, yeah. by <laughs> Toby McVeigh. I was just going to say, a young fella called Toby McVeigh. Great young bloke. Yeah. When he's at work, not playing golf. Yeah. I mean. When he's sleeping as well, that's when he's at the, his best. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there is there is no nines next week. Um, then we've got a week. Uh, we've got next week off. Then we're coming to the semi-finals. So hopefully the board will work out what's going on there very very soon. Um, yeah. The last game of the night, um, true to form, Kerry's go through the regular competition undefeated. undefeated. Yeah. And poor old Shades go through without a win. Without a win. Um, yeah. It's um, surprising at nines that that one team can. Not lose, and yeah, one yeah. team can not win. Yeah. It's um very, very yeah. unexpected yeah. in the nines. But yeah, I, I touched on it a bit earlier. I thought Shays were the better side. Yeah. Um, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, as you said, mate. Probably had more opportunities. Unlucky tonight they were in a couple yeah. of occasions. It said just those uh, that that last pass or a drop ball that uh, that cost them. So mm. um, uh, again, mate, they've got an opportunity still. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you hadn't won in the round. Everyone makes a yeah, semi. Yeah, so. yeah, they're all, they're all going to be there. Yeah. And if it is one v four. I, uh, I know a side that won three games all year one year and won the competition in Group 10, so. <laughs> <laughs> the Mudgy Dragons. So. Mudgy group 10, Mudgy. <laughs> it, it could be, it might be could, if it's 1v4 next week, it could be very interesting if, if you know, four win, <laughs> if the four spot know. wins, you know, they go straight through. Right. Yeah, yeah it's straight through. Win one game and they're into the grand final. Exactly. So. Yeah. Win two Anything's games. possible. Yeah. Anything's exactly. possible in rugby league. Exactly. Anyway, I, think, I think Matt's given us the wind-up. Oh, we got yeah, we highlights. highlights. Highlights reel coming up. I hope they're not my highlights that I tagged. There we go, oh. Brady Jarrett. Oh, we, we, we might not talk, we'll just let them roll and we'll, we'll sign out, Matty. Is that all right? Yep. Thanks, mate, bye. Thanks, boys. Thanks, guys. See you in two weeks.
that judge was a 230. The lady was like, oh, you're pretty in town. So we just go second to the drink all night. So if it was 230, they call our friends back. What about two? I'm like, sweet, that's enough for me. You need to sit here and talk shit all night.